hello so we have to install the mysql server on our system go to the website https colon slash slash dev dot mysql dot com this is the interface you will get we have to download the server mysql server so we will click on downloads and go down and we have uh, you will get mysql community gpl downloads click on mysql community gpl downloads and you have you will get the list and because we have to install it for the windows so we will click on mysql installer for windows and see we are getting here windows 32 bit msi installer and the second one is the same thing 32 m uh, 32 bit msi installer okay so you have to choose the second one which is around 448 mb this is 5.5 .5 and this is 448.3 mb 3m so you have to choose this one the second one which is 448 mb right now uh, because if your system is a 64-bit uh, you can download this also because this 32-bit is compatible for 64-bit also but if your system is 32-bit then you will go with this only right and if your system is 64-bit you can go with this also so it, it is because it is compatible now it is asking us for login and sign up we don't need to login and sign up we have to cl click on no thanks just start my download and see it is getting started it will take some moment so wait for that all right mysql installer is downloaded now just double click and wait for some moment it will get open so it is preparing to install wait for some moment a mysql installer is installing it will ask for the authentication so you have to just click on yes right it will ask for your authentication before installing so you have to just click on yes there and your installation process will start so it is installing it will ask uh, you uh, i mean if it uh, if it will ask you one to two more times the window authentication i mean the permission you just have to click on yes right all right so this is the interface you will get you have to just, just click on mysql work uh, workbench click on add now uh, we have to install two things one is in server and one is installer so this is my uh, click on mysql server click on mysql server again and this is our mysql server 8.030 so this is uh, one which we are looking for click on this arrow button and it will get added the next one is our uh, mysql uh, workbench so just find that mysql workbench mysql visual studio no we don't need this we need actually the workbench go down where is the workbench we need mysql connectors no we don't need this we need actually the workbench applications mysql for visual studios mysql for visual studio no sql shell we don't need that School router we don't need that connector we not we don't need that
I think uh, it's not giving me the option for uh, for the workbook bench because workbook bench actually installed in my system already so that's why it's not uh, showing here but in your system because you don't have the workbench so it will give you the option for the workbench so you have to just add the workbench uh, as like uh, I have done for the SQL server right so click on next and we have to execute it so the server will install see the progress is 39 percent 40 percent 41 42 okay just to remember I have told you that you have to install two things uh, my SQL server which I have shown you and second one is workbench which will be your uh, the the main where you will uh, write your queries so that will actually the main the interface for the server so that is very important so add that also you will get the option right here we have not get the option because uh, the workbench is already installed in my system so next and next so click on next and click on next again don't need to change anything click on next and give the password here and give the password again repeat the password which you are going to set and next click on next don't uh, you don't need to uh, change anything and now we, you have to check mark everything writing configuration file updating all I mean it's not checking so you can click on execute I think let me try it. writing it's not getting checked so we can click on execute okay okay it, it will execute it automatically it will I mean oh, already done the step will be already done you just have to click on execute so writing configuration file is done updating windows firewall rules is done adjusting windows service is done initializing database it will take some moment then starting the server applying security settings then update the start menu link and then we will almost done right so wait for some moment it can take five minutes so I will back soon all right so all configuration are done click on finish and click on next click on finish and wait for some moment alright so we are getting the option click on this click on add I don't know why it is giving me the option again so let's try again let's take the MySQL shell also and server is already installed click on next execute a workbench I think is not giving because it's already installed so wait for some moment the progress or what I can do I can try MySQL workbench directly so wait a second let me open that alright so this is the workbench click on next it's already installed in my system so I'm just error 150 another installation is in progress okay okay wait let me cancel this or let me cancel this I don't want the I want to close this and let's open now now alright so click on next and click next install 
why it is happening I don't know Perry let's go again all right so do one thing uh, uh, what I have done I, I just at the location where he had saved the MySQL installer so these three things which we have installed SQL Server MySQL Shell and Workbench and I think it's been installed I cancelled it but I don't know how it's been installed here okay that's fine that's not an issue and Workbench here so when you will download uh, these three things will come here and you have to go to the Workbench and go down and find the workbench see the my sql workbench double click here everything is installed but actually we are opening this you can keep this uh, on the desktop also the workbench there you have to just copy it and you, you can create the shortcut by clicking right click and create shortcut for this and you can paste it on the desktop or anywhere you want it to be accessed okay so wait a second it's opening wait a second what happened all right so actually I'm showing you again uh, these three files will be shown I mean here and you have to go to the MySQL workbench and here click on the workbench MySQL workbench and you can create the shortcut for the desktop or where you want to and see everything is set up here and click on file and click on ok or we don't need to click on we can click on local instance because this is which one we are looking for and you have to type the password uh, which you set at the time of installing I already shown you so we have already opened the workbench I can just adjust it right this is the workbench for which and this is our navigator now in this way we can install the workbench mysql workbench and server okay I hope you have got the clarity see you soon in the next session thank you so much hello all right after installing the mysql see this is the path uh, which I set for the installation okay so you have to go to that path and you will reach here and you can see that we have server we have workbench and we have shell so we need only server and workbench we don't need the shell now uh, you have to uh, to I mean uh, to go to the workbench I mean we have to go to the workbench inside the workbench we have to click on we have to go down and there will be a symbol this one like a fish so mysql workbench we have to double click here right and wait for some moment now uh, you were con uh, you were uh, thinking that uh, why we are uh, i mean why we are not directly working on the server why ne we need the mysql workbench okay so uh, the example for this is uh, you we can't drive engine okay directly uh, we drive car and we need a steering wheel uh, a steering wheel to drive the car so uh, the SQL server is kind of uh, MySQL server is kind of a, a car engine which actually responsible for the everything but I mean everything in the main uh, every in the everything means uh, that is the main okay the the server so mysql server is the main it's it's like a car engine you can presume that it's like a car engine and workbench is is uh, similar to the steering wheel if we we need to move right okay with the help of uh, the 
uh, steering wheel we can move right we can move left we can and if we have to uh, stop the car we have to put the brake so brake is also comes under workbench okay and we have to increase the speed of the car we have to accel accelerate the car so acceleration is also come under workbench so to handling the car that is workbench i mean how to handle the car we need the steering wheel we need the brakes we need the uh, acceleration we need right so that is workbench now a uh, local instance see the local instance my sql l80 and root double click here and wait for some moment it will get open now it is asking for the password now at the time of installation the username were i mean i didn't didn't change the user so it's root and password so just set the password which you will set at the time of installation process and click okay and we will your connection for to my school server at okay let me try again i don't know why it's not connecting let's try now maybe i put something wrong previously okay so see uh, it is open now so uh, this is the interface this is actually the workbench this is the workspace for which you have to work right now you can see th see that there is a query one sql file 3 file 4 so it is actually a query window if i want to insert one more query window i will see uh, the first one just click here and we will get sql file uh, 6 right so uh, in this way we can add any i mean the workbench it's kind of an interface so if i want to remove this i can close on close this by clicking on the cross sign okay so hope you have get the understanding uh, how to uh, get the workbench access you have to go to the first of all uh, you have to go to over here uh, the you have to go to the path which you set path you have set you had set at the time of installation at the time of installation you have to go there go to path you had set at the time of installation and after that then you have to go to the workbench and find the workbench bench uh, logo like a dolphin double click click on that icon then click on the local instance click on local instance there click on local instance right and put the password i mean it will ask for the password put the password you set at the time of installation right okay and then you will be login i will say login or whatever to the workbench now here you can run the queries can run the queries or i will say you can drive the car you have the wheel you can drive the car drive the car and because you have the steering wheel huh, okay okay i'm removing this okay so this uh, i mean this is the interface we can uh, uh, run the i mean 
here that we can run the queries right and you you are noticing that why I'm I'm putting hash sign so hash is actually a comment okay so it is for commenting okay uh, when we run the query okay and if you have a comment or whatever we uh, uh, if you are uh, I mean if, if, if we want to choose that not to be selected or executed in the program we just put a comment so uh, the workbench will ignore this the hash one because uh, hash means uh, we are it's a comment it's it's not uh, related to the uh, our uh, statement the running statement so hope uh, you have got the understanding now see you soon in the next session thank you so much hello welcome to today's session so this is our workbench and here we have to run the query all right and so this is our uh, workbench in the left side you can see that it's a navigator right and this one this section is a file I mean the menu menu bar this is a navigator and in the below this is the output section when we run a query we will get the output here see at the bottom output right and here we can see that schemas so what is schemas let's understand schemas okay schemas is like a database it's a database schema is a database is a database right for example uh, let's uh, I mean uh, for example you, uh, you have the table I mean there are a table I mean the main things which are inside the my uh, the SQL is that it has table it has data table has data and schema schema has the table I mean schemas has separate table every schema has their own table every table has the data right so schemas can have schema 1 schema 2 schema 3 and so on table is like it can have I mean for example we have the schema 1 then we have table 1 table 2 for whom for schema 1 and so on same way for the schema 2 we have table 1 we have table 2 we have table 3 and so on same thing for schema 3 we have table 1 we have table 2 we have table 3 and for the data every I mean we have the data for table 1 we have a data for table 2 okay and same thing is for the schema 2 tables because table has data okay I will show you what are tables but you have to uh, first of all you have to uh, understand what is inside MySQL or what is inside what is schema what is inside the SQL workbench and what is the meaning of that term now we have the schemas okay so schemas can have many schemas 1 2 3 4 5 so on same way the table schemas has table and one schema can have many tables table 1 table 2 table 3 table 4 table 5 schema 2 will have table 1 table 2 table 3 table 4 table 5 schema 3 will have table 1 table 2 table 3 table 4 table 5 and table has the data so table 1 has data 1 table 2 has data 2 same way for schema 2's table same thing is for schemas uh, schemas uh, three table right 
so that is schemas now you can see there is a domino schemas it's a audited i mean it is created by me and uh, this is sys is actually the system when you install the system uh, the workbench this is actually the system i mean it's not uh, it's, it's system so we don't need this i mean it's not a, it's a system schema okay is 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 a schema for system itself we can say right all right so first of all uh, for example you need, need to create the database first right so create a schema is a database so create database you have to type create database right when you will type the create database then you have to give the database name okay for example i am giving the database name as uh, let me give it the name as database 5 and this semicolon is to i mean uh, the semicolon after every statement this this one is actually a statement and after every statement there is a semicolon and it means we are terminating the statement we are terminating the statement now if i will run this let me remove the hash because hash is the comment i already explained you about hash 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 is a comment kind of thing comment means it will not execute the statement or the we will run uh, run the query so uh, that uh, uh, the the query when we will run the query it will not be taken the hash will not be taken because it's kind of a comment so the system will ignore the hash whatever with the data i mean whatever with the query even if i will uh, uh, write hash in front of this query and i will try to execute it if it will not execute see this is the execution i will execute and this is not getting executed because as per the database uh, as per the workbench this uh, as per the workbench uh, it is according to this that uh, this is i mean there is nothing to execute so that's why we are not getting anything here to be executed but if i will remove this and i will try to run so i will create the table by choosing this and see this electric kind of symbol we have to click on this and here we are getting a green check that means the query is executed successfully right all right so you can see that uh, this uh, the query is executed successfully because you are getting this green sign right and let me do something wrong for this query let me remove e from here and try to execute this okay for at the first place it is giving us the cross sign and if i will try to execute it it will not get executed it is giving us a red sign all right so if i will try to execute it again it will not execute it see the cross sign is coming now if i will uh, type e now everything is correct now if i will try to execute it let's it will execute it or not still it is giving us the cross sign everything is perfect then why it is giving us the cross sign let me run it again so it is giving us the red sign again because this database db5 is already created by us to check that out see here the navigator this is the navigator the left side and we have the schemas we have the domino schemas we have the system schemas so because we have created the new schema which is db5 and i have already explained that schema is a database okay so we have created the schema db5 where is db5 db5 how to get that see in the navigator bar in the right side the corner see the this is kind of refreshing i will refresh it and we will get db5 
now if I will try to create DB5 again it will not create it because this is already exist inside the workbench see the schemas as CHEMAS we have the schemas DB5 dominoes and system now it is giving us a can't create database DB5 because it exists already it already exists so let me create another database CRE one second CREATE database and DB6 now if I will run this the complete one let's see what happened so let refresh it you can see that nothing is happens because something is wrong at the first place which is DB5 so we don't need the DB5 so what we will do we will comment it okay because we don't need it we have already DB5 inside the schemas now we have to create the DB6 we will execute it and we will have just refresh it because it is executed successfully see in the bottom we are getting DB6 is already created I mean it's created successfully so DB6 is showing here same way if I want it to be DB7 to be created I will even I can select it or even because all everything is commented so I don't need to uh, select it uh, separately I can execute it and we will get see DB7 is executed it is uh, I mean the database is created and just refresh it and we have DB7 now if I I want it to be like uh, let me copy it and paste it and create the database DB8 now if I want it to be without comment how we can I mean I want the execution without comment so for that what we need to do we need to choose the statement which we want to execute now if I will run it it will run and if I will refresh it we will get DB8 okay so for example uh, I don't want this database I want to delete it how we can do that for that we use drop drop database and what is the database I want to drop I want to drop DB8 simple just run this and execute and if I will refresh it it is executed successfully and if I will refresh it DB8 will gone see DB8 is not exist same way if I want to drop DB7 I will uh, write drop database DB7 and I will run it see the DB7 is gone same way if I will type DB6 and I will drop the DB6 execute it and DB6 is gone right now this is the schema now inside the schema we have the table let me create the table okay uh, right now just try to understand I will explain it later so create table and we, we want to create a table for example table 1 okay and we have to take ID uh, and uh, table ID and integer okay this is actually the data type the integer and name and it will be varchar okay and let's take one more thing let's take the integer name age and it will be also integer now if I will run this it will not run because we are we, we are not using the database I already told you inside the schemas we have the table and inside the table we have the data so for that first of all we need to use the schema on which schema we want to create the table do we want to create the table for schema 1 or schema 2 or schema 3 so we want to create this table for DB5 so we will write use DB5 okay first of all means we are using this schema I mean we are using this schema inside this schema we want everything so execute it see it is executed successfully now we have DB5 tables views stored seizures function 
now we want to create what we want to create table so I will execute it and run it it is not okay worker is not for my apologies for it's not taking worker okay name is not taking let's take it like this now war card is not taking so just type it like this and type 10 or 20 okay war card actually this is the sizing for the string for any text okay war card is actually a text integer is used for number okay 0 1 2 3 4 5 like that so age is always in number so we are using integer id is also in number we are using integer but the name of the person is kind of a string right and this is actually the size I mean how many characters one two three so uh, the name can be go up to maximum 20 so I have given 20 I mean there is I mean name is only of a kind of, of five seven eight ten maximum right maximum characters but how long it can go 20 so I have given it 20 so I will now I will just create the table alright so I will just execute it and it is we can see that uh, in the bottom we have the create table an integer worker age integer affected it's because uh, there is no data so it's created actually the green uh, I mean the green check mark is showing us that it is created and to see it just click on the table and alright so we are not getting anything so uh, to check this out we will just run the statement I mean uh, to run the query and the query is select I mean whenever we run the query this is mostly used select okay I mean this is only which is used I will say so the main focus is select so you have to remember this the select okay and we have to type shift and 8 button which has the star above 8 and star means everything inside what this table which is we have created table 1 so inside table we have the data which is ID name age because we have not inserted the data but we have just created the headers ID name and age now if you want to see that this is created or not we will just type select star from T A B L E 1 and terminate by semicolon and I will just choose this and run it are we getting any output yes we are getting all output which is ID name age this is what we have created right now now this is inside what this is inside the DB5 this is inside the DB5 now just insert something I mean uh, the data insert into okay table uh, the table is table 1 and the headers are ID name and age right and now we have to take the values for this I mean we have to insert the values and for the ID let's take it as 1 for the name let's take it as kind of uh, give them give it a name like for example city or your yes, city but it's it's a name so uh, we can say that uh, the let's write chocolate and a no okay chocolate has no age so let's type any name for example uh, John and age is 20 and I will run this I will choose I mean select this and execute it now the data will be inserted because it is giving us a checkbox I mean the uh, green green sign 
in the bottom you can see that the john 21 row affected means the data is inserted inside what the table now if i will run this select star from table 1 now we will get the data also so we have 1 john 20 so this is actually the table now i will copy this and paste again and i will just uh, for one i will type two and for john the second one is let's take the name as ronnie and run this and age is let let me make it 25 so 24 and insert into the table one and run the this is i mean executed in the bottom we can see it is done so just choose select one second star form uh, I mean run the query uh, select star form table 1 execute it now we can see that we have uh, ID 1 to John name and Roni 2024 is inserted so this is the table and refresh it and this table is where see the table 1 so table 1 is what I mean uh, let me see we have the schema now this is you have to remember the select star from table 1 this is actually DQL command these are actually all the commands I will explain you but just try to understand for now uh, what will be your focus the main focus will be your DQL command so what is the DQL command okay creating table inserting data it's it's a it's a minor part because the main part is the DQL command so DQL command this is I will say 80 percent or even I will say 100 percent right 80 percent task is done by DQL command and what is that DQL command that DQL command is S E L E C T that's it nothing else okay select and what is the statement for the uh, this the statement is S E L E C T star from table 1 I mean table 1 I mean because we have the table 1 so that's why I'm writing table 1 so it can be any table so table name and terminated by semicolon so this is the a select statement and this is the DQL command select so DQL is what DQL is data query language means we are retrieving the data we are extracting the data whatever you want to say okay we are we are extracting the data from the table from the database data query language so this is mostly used select star from table 1 so this is the main statement uh, I mean which you we will deal with and mostly we deal with this statement select star from table 1 table 1 denotes uh, the table it can be any table name right table 1 table 2 table 3 table 4 so I have given it the table I mean uh, in the starting table 1 so it can be table customer uh, I mean it can be employee it can be product it can be orders now in the schema uh, let's uh, the DB5 if I will uh, select DB5 we can see we have the tables and inside the table it is created the table 1 okay now uh, let's create one more table so you will get the better understanding so what I will do I will type use db5 and because I want to create one more table inside db5 so I will use the db5 and I will create one more table create table and I will uh, create the table 2 okay and table 2 and I will create ID I will create city and I will create that's it and we have to give the data type also so for the ID it is kind of a number so we will take it as an integer and next one is city and we will take it as a var car this is a actually is a string uh, data type and city can be 10 or it can be 15 
how long it can be the name so 15 I mean it representing the size and I will just run both and execute it it will run and if I will refresh it we will you will see we will have table 2 also see we have the table 2 which is just right now we in front of us now we have to if I mean in the database it is showing us but if you want to uh, get the details uh, by the query so we will type select star star means everything inside this table so we have star from table 2 terminate by semicolon and execute choose it and execute the query and we have ID and city it because we have not an added any data so that's why it is not showing us the data now write select star from table 1 okay now you can see that uh, it's running and I will just choose it and run it and we have kind of the data with us the ID name age so in this way we can create the schema then inside the schema we can create the table and inside the table we can create the data okay so the mostly used is DQL I will explain everything in the upcoming session for right now you have to understand what is database I mean what is schema you what is schema schema is a database and what uh, schema consists of schema consists of one thing which is table and table is consist of what data so inside this uh, I mean inside the schema we have many schemas schema one two three and schema is nothing but it is a database it, it is actually a database schema is a database okay and inside every schema there will be a table it can be one table two table more than two table three four five six seven so on and inside every table there will always be a data and for that we use what we use DQL to get that data the 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 desired data from the database schema db5 we have the table so dql is used use dql is used to extract the data from the table of that particular schema which is db5 okay so select star from table 1 so select is actually a dql command select is dql command star means everything inside the table if i will choose select star from table 1 we will get this but if i will choose no I want something I, I want a particular thing for example uh, to make you understand better let me take the example for the gift box okay and so gift box is kind of table okay just con uh, consider gift box is a table and inside the gift box we have chocolates we have candies we have uh, other gifts like uh, we have for example lays we have uh, chocolates candies lays or what okay uh, different kind of chocolates uh, for example I mean munch we have five star okay so if you get this gift box from someone and if you want that I want everything I don't want to share my gift box with anyone if, even there are many chocolates even there are 10 uh, five star many five stars there the quantity is many five uh, ten five stars ten other chocolates ten munchs but I want everything so what I will type I will type select everything means star from gift box because and gift box is kind of a table which is table 1 here so select star from gift box is what it is saying that give me everything inside the gift box so gift box is what gift box is a table 1 
gift box is a table actually and inside the table we have the data which is actually id name age and consider this id name age like uh, for example id is like chocolate name is like candies age is like uh, age is like lays if there will be anything then months five star like that right now i said that i want chocolate i want candies i want everything so i will type selector from gift box but if i i, uh, I will say okay i will share something uh, with else uh, other with pers uh, uh, i mean i i will just take five star only because it's my favorite so i will type give me only uh, five star so i will type select five star from gift box okay so when uh, i will run this query we will get the data right to the five star header okay so same way if i will uh, take select name from table one okay the same thing above what i am saying i am saying select five star from gift box and here i am saying select name because i want name i don't want complete data from the table i want a particular data i want a name see we have the name john ronnie okay i want name and i want only age so i will type age and run okay i want only i want age and i want name also and i will run this and what will happen it will give us age then it will give us name have you examined that i mean if i am taking for example if i will take age again it will give us so because it is not case sensitive so age is 20 and age is 20 24 so it is not case sensitive mysql sql is not a case sensitive right hello welcome to the session all right so let's start the session you can see here we have a data and actually this is a table okay we have three tables with us one first table then we have the second table and then we have the third table so this is a table okay now we can see that we have reason and we have one two three four five six seven eight this is actually a month and this is the data so in this way we can store the data so in the mysql or we can say sql the data is in structure way in the form of table right the structure the data is structured proper way for example we have the word pad or we have the notepad or uh, I mean word document or the notepad the data is not in a structure way mostly it is in unstructured way so we can't use that data for the SQL SQL needs structured data so that's why it is called structure query language all right so this is the table which we create inside the schema schema is the database already explained you and date a table has the data so what is the data we have the data like this so this is the data okay so coming to the point sql what is sql okay sql is a structure query lang language sql structure query language right okay so we have the mysql so what is mysql then mysql is the dbms okay we have many dbms like uh, we have oracle we have sql server we have postgresql many more so all these are dbms and all dbms use which language sql right mysql is used sql postgresql is used sql oracle used sql sql server use sql so structure 
query language so this is the language used by most of the DBMS okay now every uh, DBMS can have different syntax or we can say I mean different function but the main thing is that overall they are same same because they are using the same language for example we have cars we have different kind of cars right but the main function is uh, of the car is to travel okay to to you uh, to uh, pick you from to locate you to different location okay to get you to the location to your destination right the transportation we can say there is a possibility that there is some I mean definitely every car can have uh, different kind of you know design or many things okay even the uh, functionality little bit but 80% of the functionality will be same acceleration will accelerate the car okay the brakes will brake stop the car the uh, I mean the engine the functioning is almost same but yes we can say that for example we have the diesel engine we have the petrol engine so their functionality is different but the output we are getting is same I mean it's not that uh, I mean I mean similar to that you can understand these DBMS okay they are like different kind of cars okay but all the cars have only one functionality we can say or the, the even the engine can be different okay the different CC or whatever be but the main thing is that I mean the function the main I I mean the what is the functioning of the engine okay to make the car drive so that is SQL to SQL is used for what to extract the data from the table that's it okay so hope you are getting the point now uh, coming to the point so for the structure carry language when I mean we are uh, this is MySQL so every database use this select is most important so what is select select is DQL data query language so this is 80% this is used and what is the syntax or we can say what is the statement select star from table 1 so this is the syntax or the statement this is DQL statement select star from table now let you make you understand better what is the meaning of star and what is the meaning of select for example we have the gift box right we have the gift box and inside the gift box we have uh, the chocolates we have candies we have uh, I can, what I can say uh, candies we have different kind of chocolates munch five star we have uh, Carberry right we have I mean okay that's fine so uh, just table is like a gift box which consists a data I mean for example here we can say the ID name age so this ID name age is kind of we can say that I mean actually uh, I will say the gift box consists of chocolate so it's it will be data but that is fine we can consider it as I mean just to understand you it's kind of uh, I mean uh, for example uh, okay make just consider the gift box as a table and inside the table we have ID okay ID means chocolate so chocolates can have five star it can have cabri it can have munch so this is actually the data for chocolates and for candies uh, the candies uh, candies can be uh, like uh, uh, Mahalecto um, and eclairs okay so actually chocolates and candies is uh, okay let me uh, put down one more thing 
chocolates candies and what i can say chips okay so let me uh, remove this and okay so gift box has chocolates has candies and chips so what is the meaning of that it is similar to id name and age right now chocolates can be munch five star carberry so it's a data for the id that is one two three four like that for example i'm choosing select star from table one and i'm just running this and see the output we are getting what we are getting wait it's running okay so id name age is similar to chocolates candies and chips and one two is actually chocolate has munch five star carberry same way candies has mahalacto and eclairs and chips has what chips has uh, the lays or uncle chips or bingo mad angles like that okay so this is okay so this is the gift box i mean actually in the gift box uh, we we i mean we mostly say that there is a chocolates okay so chocolates can be munch can be five star can be carberry so we can say uh, what what is what is inside the gift box so we say uh, there is chocolates there is candies there is chips and when we will ask what kind of chocolate is inside this gift box okay then we, we okay then we i mean for example someone is giving you the gift you uh, they just even they don't, don't tell you what is inside it but if they are okay telling you okay chocolates candies and chips is inside it so okay you will get the under understanding that you have the chocolates but what kind of chocolate you have then you have to open that so when you will open this then you find even uh, for example you are getting the gift box and you are opening then you will uh, see there is a munch there is a five star there is a calorie then you say okay chocolate so chocolates is kind of id name age candies is kind of id name age chips is kind of id name age so chocolates is inside the gift box that is fine but what kind of chocolate munch the type of chocolate the data munch five star carberry candies mahalacto eclairs chips lays uncle chips bingo mad angles so this is actually what this is the data right so that is i'm saying uh, when we say select star star means everything inside the gift box i need everything i will not share with anyone i want chocolates i want candies i want chips so star means everything from gift box that is the meaning of the star everything from the gift box gift box is a table so that is the meaning of star everything everything but if i will say i don't want everything i want chocolate only okay if i will say that we want select we want chocolates only rest is yours give me the chocolates that's it i i don't want candies i don't want chips keep it to yourself okay and give me the chocolates or i will take the chocolate only okay so gift box then we will get the chocolates only so let me show you practically select if i will choose star star means everything from what uh, from where table 1 table 1 is where inside which we are using right now db5 because if we have chosen one because we have already chosen that use db5 so it is executed so we don't need to choose it again and again okay so db5 now we are inside db5 now inside the db5 what we need is table 1 and we will terminate and by a semicolon and execute it select star from table one so we are getting the output now 
star means everything inside the table so what is inside the table we have 1 2 uh, johan 22 roni 24 okay id name and age but i want only the name or i want only the chocolate in the above so means for example i want only the id so i will type id from table 1 I will terminate it, I will execute it and see the result. We will get only ID as the output. So that is similar to the chocolate. We will get only the chocolate. Is it IDs? Let's see. Because option uh, is not getting, so that's why I'm asking. Okay, let's choose star. I don't know why it's not coming. So let's let's check this out. Okay, tables. Okay, okay. This is actually table. So ID. Now we will get the ID. Okay. Now uh, let's take select name from table one. Now what we will get? We will get only the name, nothing else. So that is kind of we. I want chocolate only. Okay. I want chocolate and candies. I want name and age. So we will get name and age. Okay, so we are getting name and age. Now one more thing. If I will choose S in the capital letter name like this, age like this, then age like this, then I will type A, then small g, then E from table. What will happen? We will get we will still get the result because this is not case sensitive one thing what happen select name age 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 from table one okay now run this so we will get the output because this is not a case sensitive so we are getting the name age 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 and if i will type here name in the capital we will still get the output for name okay whatever we it doesn't impact the sense case sensitivity is not impact the MySQL or the SQL SQL is a K is a non case sensitive means it is not a case sensitive non case sensitive non case sensitive or not sensitive not case sensitive okay so you don't need to bother that okay who, uh, i am typing small or large i mean the small or the capital letters it will not impact it's up to you right so hope you are getting the point so let's let's uh, start uh, let me uh, give you the information that uh, the uh, I mean uh, our what what is our uh, main focus main focus is DQL DQL which is select okay select DQL is main focus okay so let me tell you that what kind of commands we have uh, inside the MySQL so we have the commands inside the SQL is that alright so we have the commands in uh, SQL so what are those commands let me let's discuss one by one first one is GDL which is data definition language okay the second one is uh, we have the DML data manipulation language next one is dql which is the most important data query language then we have the commands uh, D, uh, dcl data control language and then we have TC transaction control language data control language transaction
control language all right so let's let's talk about the ddl okay so ddl is oh, what ddl is data definition language which consists of create okay alter and drop okay so these are the main commands which are comes under ddl okay after that we have uh, the dml and which is data manipulation language and what are the commands under this dml dml so we have uh, update we have delete and we have insert so these are three commands which is part of the dml after that we have what we have the dql or we can say it's a data query language dql most important data query language okay so this is what what comes under this that is select after we have dcl data control language so what comes under this all right so we have the grant uh, dcl and it consists of grant and revoke okay after that we have tcl which is transaction control language so for the tcl we have uh, tcl transaction control language okay so it consists of uh, i mean uh, commit then we have rollback and then we have save point all right right so this is uh, the main commands and our focus mostly on actually the mostly used is dql ddl is also used dml is also used dcl is also used but the most most used mostly used is dql it's not that uh, others not used or others are useless but 80% is dql because this is what the i mean organization is looking for ddl is concerned it is actually the creation of the table so organization has already the script with uh, them so they just even alter is also used somehow uh, i mean the ddl is also used i mean the ddl i mean that's why uh, that is responsible for the uh, data to be created and if you want to alter the table or drop the table we can use that so that is kind of a admin task and ml is to manipulate if you want to update the data delete the data uh, or insert the values into the data so that is insert into right all right so hope you have got the understanding of the sql mysql commands and the meaning of the table the meaning of the schemas the meaning of the data right so see you soon in the next session thank you so much welcome to the session let's start the session so commands so we discussed about the commands so i will explain you one by one ddl so ddl has create alter uh, alter and drop create alter and drop right so let's create one by one 
create means to create the table okay for example I'm creating the table create table table 3 okay because table 1 2 is already exist so I'm creating table 3 and I'm giving it ID and I am giving it as name that's it so ID is integer which is the data type and name is the varchar or give it 20 the size so this is the create command now I will run this the table 3 will be created by refreshing the schemas you can see it is fetching the detail create table 3 is not coming why okay maybe use db5 now create the table and refresh the schema see we have the table 3 that's fine now in this way we can use the create command which is the part of DDL the next one is alter now alter the table 1 because I, I don't we don't have the data for the table 3 so we will alter alter is to alter the table alter table table 1 okay and right now we can see that uh, okay w one second let's use the describe it's a keyword table 1 now we will get what table 1 what kind of data uh, data type table 1 has now I will execute it and we can see that it has the field which is actually the these ID name okay ID name age so data type is integer name is varchar 20 and age is integer right so now age is 20 I mean age is integer now we want to change the data type or we want to do the alteration in the table so how we can do that we can do that by using alter command so alter table table 1 alter table table 1 so we will alter it and now what we want so we want to modify what if I want to modify that I want the column which is the field which is name and which is where care 20 I want it to be 30 and I will run this and see what will happen I will execute it it is successfully executed and in the bottom we can see that now I will type select everything which is star from table 1 now I will uh, terminate it by semicolon and execute and we have that is fine uh, now we will use describe table 1 and run now we can see that here the var car is 30 now previously it was 20 so the data type is modified same way if we want to alter I mean this is actually we have alter the we have modified what we have modified the data type but if we want to add something new column so what we can do we can use add column add column and add column give it some kind of name let give it as city and where care 10 and run it what will happen the new we know that right now in the table we have three fields id name age and if i will do it we will ha have four because we have added the new column which is city now if i will run select star from table one we will get 
4 CT is null because we have just created uh, the database I mean uh, the column which is city so that's why it is null because we have not used the insert into statement so this is actually the table uh, I mean the alter now next one is drop drop is very uh, sensitive command never use this okay if you have run this the table will be vanished completely for example we have table 3 so just copy this and run the table 3 I think there is no data inside the table 3 okay there is no data so let's uh, okay I will uh, tell you about drop later because I don't want to lose the data so I will first of all okay let me tell you if I mean there is no data so I wanted to tell you with the data okay so first of all what we can do we can because in the uh, table 3 there is there is no data so if but the table is exist so that is actually the drop if we will drop it the complete table will vanish with ID name it will not exist it will vanish prop completely for example I will choose drop table table 3 and if I will run this the table 3 will be vanished from here see see the table 3 is not exist now it's gone it's dead so that is drop do so be careful never run this on the live data or never use drop okay even uh, mostly you will not have the access for the drop okay so you will have mostly you will have the access for this select only because drop is not your part there is a separate team for that okay so this is what select star from table 3 this is actually the DQL okay so what we have covered we have covered create uh, we have uh, cover the DDL which is create alter drop so I explained you the create I explained you the alter I explained I have explained you the drop also and DQL is also covered which is select now next one is DML and what is that that is update that is delete you need to understand delete delete is separate thing drop is separate thing when we drop everything is drop but when we drip only the data will be deleted table will not delete I mean table will be there so insert insert okay now uh, let's let's tell you about the insert and update okay first of all let's choose the table 1 and you will get the understanding of this all right so if I will choose select star from table 1 we have the data but in the city there is no data so we want to update the city we will use update what city now update table 1 okay and we will use set set is kind of a keyboard keyword and set city is equal to New York where if I will not put where clause the complete city will be updated if I will put a particular clause for example if I want uh, the city to be New York whose name is John or whose ID is 1 or 20 or greater than 20 if there is a possibility the large data we can go that otherwise if I will put this a complete city column will be updated to what New York so let's now it is updated one second update is not executed you are using safe update mode and you try to update update table okay let's let's update 
set city is equal to New York update table one. So, okay, let's ID is equal to five. Run this. It is not. Why it is happening? You are using shift mode and you are trying to update. Update table one set ID is equal to New York. I don't know why it is not working. It should work. Set ID is equal oh no, ID can't be New York, but I'm saying ID is equal to five. Okay, just run this. Set ID is equal to five. No, it's not working. So very strange. Update table one. Set ID. Use uh, use DB five and try to do that. No, it's not working. So okay, no issue. So actually what will happen if I will uh, choose this and I will run this then the city will I mean the ID will come automatically 5 so that is update for example if you want to update uh, for example the information actually to update the information or for example uh, to replace the existing information for example John city is right now New York okay but uh, for example previously it was i mean right now for example it is 20 see and i want to make it 25 then i will use set age is equal to 20 where id is equal to 1 so i will use the where clause okay so that's why i mean the update is used in that way okay now coming to the delete Okay, first of all, I will show you the insert. So insert into, okay, and insert into what? Table one, and the columns are ID. We have the name, we have the age, and we have the city. So I will add the new, the values. I mean, this is the way. This is the syntax. Uh, for the insert into which is the part of DML so we will type uh, one two three then I will give it a name as Albert and 25 and cities New York okay so run this and see the output okay age uh, actually I put the dot mistakenly now it will run terminate and by semicolon so now it is executed and just choose statement select star from table 1 and we can see that we have the 1 2 3 and Albert which is right now we have added so let's add one more uh, the number 4 and right now let's add RAM uh, what I can say uh, the name is uh, Andrew Andrew right and city is California and run this oh shit what I have done I know no what I would I actually run the command okay refresh this okay now uh, the select statement we have to just copy it and paste it in the down so we will run this by choosing 
and we have Andrew number 425 California and I will show you the update maybe it will work I don't know because it's not working update update table 1 set ID is equal to or age is equal to 30 and I will uh, 30 here ID is equal to 4 so I want Andrew age to be 30 so I will run this and see okay one second why it's not working it's not working let's try table maybe it will work but it will not I think so actually it's not working it should work update table 1 set age is equal to 30 where id is equal to 4 okay it's not working maybe okay uh, leave it so uh, I mean uh, you have the understanding that is fine the update table uh, I mean and the insert now for example I want to delete so I will use delete Oh, update table one update from I think update from maybe it will work now no update table one is not working so a uh, delete table one where ID is equal to 4 so I uh, Andrew will be gone now Andrew is exist if I will run delete table uh, one where delete from table 1 where id is equal to 4 and I will run this and I will run it again see it's not giving us the permission I think kind of safe mode saying that so view okay leave it it's not uh, actually it's kind of delete from table 1 where id is equal to 4 it's not okay update and delete is not working not issue you have the understanding that is fine so we have covered ddl we have covered dml we have covered dql and now we have dcl and dcl is kind of to re actually it's a kind of a admin part and Honestly speaking, I have not worked on this. The DCL because it's a separate thing. It's not a part of uh, you know. Ad so grant actually it's it's uh, I can explain you what is grant. Grant means for example, right now I am not getting the permission uh, to update, and I am not getting the permission to delete. So that is kind of grant access to the user okay for example my user is root let's uh, let's do it if it will happen so grant uh, grant access to user I don't know it will work or not because grant access it's not working okay I'll leave it it's not uh, I mean the part of this course so okay so uh, I mean uh, I will just explain you the meaning so the okay grant means to give the access because uh, in the organization there are multiple user which will work on a particular data right multi user multi-user means uh, there are multiple uh, I mean I mean uh, the, the data is actually uh, there are different departments and in the departments there are managers there are employees okay so they will have only access to see the data okay they can only see the data they can't update the data they can't delete the records from the data okay that kind of stuff so uh, uh, even you can uh, I mean if you 
in the organization you can say manager has the access to uh, for example let me take the example of leaves okay so manager you you can apply only leave if you apply the leave that's fine but manager will have the access to accept the leave even uh, what I will say even there is kind of data where we you have to update that data so you, there is a timeline okay so after the timeline you can't update the data okay so that is kind of revoke means you are revoked after the timeline okay grant means you have the permission your manager is, has the permission to update the data or even delete the records I mean that is a very cre uh, crucial thing uh, the deleting uh, but the updation is I mean the managers have the access to updation it can related to any kind of data so that is that is a grant grant means if, you, if there are multiple user every particular user the specific designation he has he will have mostly the employees will have only the access to see the data they can't actually they can't edit that okay many uh, few people will have the access to uh, I mean the access to edit the data right so or who is in the backend team uh, they will have the access to uh, revoke I mean grant, uh, grant the data to grant means to I mean grant is part of edit it is part of see the data it is everything so that is decided by whom admin so that is the part of admin is the part of actually grant and revoke so he give the access to the multiple there are a lot of user employees so actually there is a groups okay that these uh, people comes under these groups and they just they it's kind of key policies and automatically uh, all group we belongs to those people I mean for example in there is a policy which has group A and in group A there are 5000 employees so the the admin has to just revoke the access for that group and the employees which will be the part of that group will not now will not have the access to access the data okay so the policy is on a particular group because the the, the admin make the groups and link the groups to the users and he don't know he don't need to go to the one user one by one and creating the that okay we will give the access this and we will give not the access this actually the uh, in the organization there is specific group of peoples which will have the access and specific group of the people which will not have the access or less access so on the just uh, the policy will be applied on that particular group and the people which belong to that group automatically I mean the policy whatever be that even it is grant or revoke will be applied so that is that part okay so hope you have got the understanding of grant and revoke same way I mean this that is actually the same way here so grant means right now I don't have access to update and delete okay so grant means I am revoked for or I have only the Ex, uh, less permission I have, I have only to select the data that's it okay the next one is commit and roll back and save point is roll back for example is uh, I am doing something and I, 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 I don't want to do that I will roll back to the previous step save point is kind of I am doing right now I want to save every step one by one and commit commit is actually it's not uh, I think the part of MySQL because it's it's part of Oracle okay because it's SQL is a part of this this command uh, commands are the part of SQL so but commit is not the part of my SQL okay because it's we don't need the commit means uh, for example I have run the command select star from table 1 so we don't need the commit okay like that Okay, hope you have got the understanding of the uh, DD, which is the main, main is DDL and DML, you will get the understanding and the most important is DQL, right, select.
all right so let's wrap it up I have covered what I have covered okay let's wrap it up schema schema is what schema is kind of kitchen I will say okay schema is kind of uh, schema is a database database has tables tables has data structure query language to query the data from the tables my mysql is a dbms many dbms we have oracle we have server sql server we have postgresql many many other and dql is the most important and select star from table star means everything okay select means select gift box example you can uh, i mean gift box like chocolates candies chips so we have what is chalk what kind of chocolate we have munch five stars so that is the Cadbury. this is actually the data candies malacto eclairs lays so this is the data if if i want everything from the gift box i will choose star if i want particular item for example i want chocolate so i will choose chocolate use db means for this data we are working on or want to create anything case sensitivity told you that it is not case sensitive D, uh, there are uh, languages commands ddl dml dql dcl and tcl and ddl has the create alter drop dml has the update delete insert dql is select and DC, dcl is the grant and revoke tcl is commit rollback save point and already explained to you how to create the tables just type create table and table name and then give the field name or the column name and give the items i mean the where is the create yes the data type okay i will explain you about the data type let me explain you let me cover this so we have the create the table in i mean the field and the data type and alter table to alter the table or add modify and add something column or the definitely when we are adding the column then we need the data type also select you know already and that's it insert into already explained the lead already explained drop is already explained so coming to the data types so let's cover the data type also so what is data types data types is actually what kind of field belongs to which data type so we have integer you know the number then we have the data type where care so it where care is actually uh, it's it's consist of number also it consist of even we can take the number for where care uh, combination of number and text then we have text then we have care then we have date then we have date time this is mostly 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 used data type is this there are many data types in mysql but this is the main integer where care text even i will say this is also not used so i will keep it below used but rarely one second what i have done character and text it's not that it is not used it is used but rarely okay integer where care date date time and timestamp so this is the data type so integer is what it is number one two three four five where care is what it is text plus text plus number like that date means date date means date time timestamp means timestamp means the timing h h m m s s hour minute it's like hour minute and second like that okay for example okay this is actually the data type okay and other another data type is like below td below 
okay uh, there are many more a uh, text collector below in below there is uh, what is that let me think below tiny below and medium text long text okay like that long text tiny text uh, so there are many other a uh, text character below medium text binary binary is yes, binary so this type of uh, data types uh, there are many but mostly uses this which i have mentioned integer where care date date time and timestamp okay so next one is data type is covered now the data types we have okay we have the constants which is very important what is constant it's kind of feature for the table for example primary key for the data type primary key okay very important not null then unique then we have primary key not null okay unique then we have uh, default then we have check so these are the mostly used constant right so i will explain you one by one what is primary primary key is very important primary key is kind of a unique key but it is not null unique key can be null but primary key can't be null so for example let me create a table 3 again create table then you will get the understanding so primary key is unique create table table 3 and I will take it as ID as integer which is the data type and I will make it a primary key by just typing primary key so this will become a primary key and next one is I will take it as name and where care we can take it as text also okay so insert a use db5 it is good to use before creating the table okay so it is created and just run this select star from table table 3 and see the result what we got we got yes id null name null because we have not inserted the data so let's insert the data insert into table 3 and we want to insert what we want to insert the id which is 1 and name is just take whatever we x and insert into ok we have to take the column this is actually values and column is what we have id and we have name let's take it as x1 and run this and run select from table 3 now we have 1 we have x1 if i will ok now what i will do i will just uh, take the table 1 also and so that you will get the understanding uh, for now here add 2 also and x2 let me add some records that's why I'm doing this so copy this paste this paste this paste this so we have 3 we have 4 we have 5 we can change here also if we will not change that not an issue 
but let's change and insert it will be added now it is added and what do you need to understand just focus now now s select the table 3 and we have 1 2 3 4 5 x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 but if I will try to add x5 again will it add no because we have id is a primary key and primary key is unique key unique means single no duplicacy we can see it is giving us the red why because duplicate entry is found for five key uh, for five key which is id so, so it will not give even uh, whatever even uh, for the four it will not add it will give us wrong i mean duplicate entry the error message and if I will choose the table 3 it will still give us 1 to 5 nothing else 1 to 5 nothing else alright so you can see that we have 1 to 5 so nothing is duplicate here and if I will choose and we have 1 to 4 and if I, I will try to add Andrew again so let's go there and find Andrew and if I will try to add it it will add because it's not a primary key even if I will add it more it will add it will add many times so just go down and run the query select star from table 1 and here we can see that we have 4 4 4 4 how many times many times so that's why we use the primary key so there will be no duplication in the data because there is a possibility uh, we have the duplicacy in the data I mean mistake it, it happens so avoid that duplicacy if there is a duplicacy in the script or in the data if in the create or the insert into because this is for example I am just creating this insert into and I, I find I mistakenly uh, type 4 here and okay it will not add that record for example uh, I already explained you that 5 it is a primary key so it will not add that so it will only uh, unique records for the primary key but if we will not the make the primary key it will uh, add the duplicacy and as we can see here right so that is primary key not null means uh, it can't be null at the time of insert it can't be null for example we have not make it null for example right now if I will uh, take the insert into and I will because we have not make it anything so it will be by default null or uh, by default null so if I will keep it it is null it will be added so number six it is added and just select star from table one and we can see there will be no record for number six I mean there will be a uh, table 3 uh, there will be record but not for the name x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 and 6 6 id is the record but name is no record because we have not make it, it the constant okay so now what I will do I will alter the table alter table table 3 and modify column which one the name and we want it to be what we want it to be not null but it is already null so I don't think so it will take it ok 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 so we need to what ok we uh, not null name because it is already null so okay what we will do uh, I will just create one more table create table table 4 and refresh this also we will get table 3 also and now if I will make ID and I will make it as primary key integer primary key and name 
फेयर केयर ट्वेंटी एंड ओके सो इट विल बी एंड वी वॉन्ट इट टू बी नॉट नल एंड लेट्स टू वन मोर थिंग हेयर इज वॉट हेयर इज इट यूनिक एंड देर इज इट डिफॉल्ट सो एंड चेक सो we will i will do for unique also so i will take age okay mobile number because it will be unique mobile and integer or we can make it as varchar 10 because it is fixed and we will make it as unique and one more thing uh, what is that the we have the not null we have the unique and we have the default so default i will make it default also but default okay i will unique also default i will explain uh, next First of all, let's cover this. Okay, so just run this, and the table is created. And select start from table four. Select start from table four, and just run this. okay now add the data so i will take this insert we have what we have name we have mobile and i will add one i will add y1 and i will add 1 2 3 and i will just mobile number is not 1 2 3 i mean three uh, characters but just i'm adding 1 2 3 okay so just select start from table 4 okay so what happened okay we have to take table 4 here and run this and see the output we have okay it will be added so select 4 now we have 1 by 1 1 2 3 now i will add more more and more so we have 1 we have 2 we have number 3 we have number 4 we have one number that is fine number 3 number 4 and number y1 is i mean now you can understand that uh the name is actually the what not null so if i will let let me add this one first but it is unique so it will not take this so i will take this i will add first some records then you will make you understand number 5 okay so this is okay so that's fine now let's run and now you have to focus if i will run this we have the data that is fine we have 1 2 3 records now we have make name what we have, have we had na uh, make the name as what so now you can see that we have 3 y1 and 125 now if i will uh, this is a primary key this is done and the name is actually we have make it not null now if i will try to keep it null what will happen the unique and if i will try to make it null it will not take it number 4 and i will try to make it null it will not take it see the red one is coming okay so it is not adding because we have take it null and we have make it null so that's why the 4 is not inserted now i will make it as by 
and I will insert then it will be inserted because it is not null anymore so one second insert uh, table 4 ID is 5 is 4 not showing because 1 2 3 okay because uh, 1 2 3 is also uh, I mean uh, the mobile is unique so it is we are taking 123 so it is not taking so unique part is also done hope you have got the point now I will select start from table 4 number 4 is added 126 that's fine so that is the meaning of the unique and the uh, the meaning of not null now coming to the default default means it will give a default value for example uh, let me create a table now again create a table 5 okay let's add add into the table so alter table table 4 and add c-o-l-u-m-n which one uh, city and where care it's alright the system is hang alright so system is hanged I think one second it's not working alright system is not working properly alright so that's it uh, see you soon in the next session uh, that's for now hope you have got the understanding see you soon in the next session thank you so much hello alright so today's session is constant and constants we have covered primary key okay primary key if not covered then I will definitely explain you not null unique right and we have default and we have size there is a one more key, uh, constant which is actually the foreign key all right so now coming to the point the constant we have primary key not null is done okay and unique is also explained in the previous session so this is also covered default we have to cover default and foreign key check 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 need to cover okay so coming to the default what is default so first of all let's create the database so I am going to create database which database I am going to create so create database uh, and let's create the database I'm going to create the DB1 and run this and we will use this database to create the table so this is created use the DB1 and create table I'm going to create the table 1 and ID is integer and uh, we have the name which is varkar which is 20 and I'm going to take what I'm going to take the age so that is varkar which has hardly three character okay even we can take it as a character because uh, we can take it as integer but 
that is fine but it's not need to take the integer we can take it as a character but if we will take it character we need to okay it's good to take as integer we can take it as character also because uh, it will uh, uh, the less space occupied okay so create the table uh, because integer is integer and character 3 is so definitely okay create table uh, okay so this is the table we are creating and default see we have to uh, check default so what is the meaning of default for example if I will not put anything then put 20 this is the meaning of default I'm saying if uh, default is 20 so if I will create the table let's create the table first use the DB and create the table and when this will be created we just have to refresh the schemas and we can see uh, the DB1 is created and instead of DB1 we will have uh, the table which is uh, kind of table 1 so table is fetching views is fetching and we have wait let's you select star form table one and run this now we have the table one created now insert the value insert into table one I am inserting one I am inserting name as x1 and age I am taking 20 and okay one second we have to take the uh, I mean we have IDs right we have ID we have name and we have age right so this is we have and just I will we need to take it as values and just take it as parenthesis I mean the semicolon and copy this and just paste 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 okay so one okay I think I have not covered the primary key so I will cover the primary key also two three four five six seven eight nine now you can see that it is coming I mean x1 we can change it or we there is no need to change it's not an issue because it can take the duplicate value but okay I'm doing the change also because name will be almost different there is a possibility the name will be uh, not uh, different I mean the same so that is fine for example let me take uh, the first one as x1 also same same name we have so you need to understand when uh, okay first of all just uh, Okay, let me insert only five values or up to four values five values okay so execute this and choose select star from table one and see we have x1 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 x4 x5 and this is the now if this is the table we have now what I will do uh, because we have to check the default so what is the meaning of that so if I will take it as uh, I mean the 6 that is fine but if I will put it nothing what will happen it will take by default what I have given is it 20 we have given 20 so it will take 20 okay so whatever be the default value we will uh, I mean now it will take 20 or uh, see we have 20 right x5 one second okay it's not added actually we need to type default here so I think I don't need to okay let's check this out first and run the table one and see we have default yes so we have 20 and if I will miss this what will happen number 7 
so check this out so it is not taking because we have not set the default okay now 7 is not taking because we need to set the default also so we don't have the default all right so we need to take it what we need we, we need to take it as a default so it is not adding because we have not taken the default so default means it will take as it is the default for example sometimes we have to uh, okay let me explain you we have ta targets right so target is kind of fixed thing it's fixed so uh, when it is fixed so we need to set the default so we will just when we will create this so we will just do this like this because primary key is actually the auto increment so even we don't include the primary key so this is for creating this the script it's too easy okay so otherwise you have to type again 20 20 20 now default means it will take by default so now we don't have the primary key so it will take the duplicate value also because in the table we don't have the primary key so id is mostly most of the time is primary primary key so we can see that we have number seven we have number seven okay we have eight nine ten that is fine but you can see it is taking 20 so by default it is taking 20 because we have set the by default 20 now let me alter table and i am going to alter table one and in the table one modify what i am going to modify column uh, the column name is what uh, it's uh, age and take it as default 30 okay now run this age where care 20 default is not taking so that is very strange where care is taking i think so yes default is not taking so we have to uh, alter constant constraint and table one modify column age so default it will not take i think so 30 so what we will do we will uh, this uh, uh, type describe constraint it's not okay 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 leave it uh, what I'm saying that uh, the I mean when you create the table uh, if you have set default 20 it will take uh, 20 as by default if you will take it as 100 for example let me take because I have to do table 2 and take the default as 40 so it will take the age as 40 by default so use table 1 table 2 and here I will just copy this and paste here and just I will change table 1 to 2 2 2 2 2 2, two. now when uh, I mean what will happen from 7 to 10 it will give us 40 so we have inserted and the data is inserted I will just copy the select the dql command which is the main and select star from table 2 and execute it now we are getting 20 that is fine but 7 8 9 10 what we are getting 40 which is by default okay so that is the meaning of default okay so default is covered now what is next next one is check so what I will do, I will do one thing, I will just create, I mean I will drop the table to refresh this, it's not working, it's, I don't know, okay, sometimes it hangs, 
so we can't do anything or we need to close it and to run it again okay so okay table 2 I will do one thing I will drop table 2 and okay so now I will create the table and I will put a check for example the default is 40 that is fine and I I put check age is 30 so you will get the understanding so table 2 and insert I will first of all take it as 50 so the records will be 60 so that it so that the records will be inserted easily now I will run select star from table 2 and just okay table 1 actually let's add it in table 2 we need to table 2 so I will go down or what I can do I can just copy control X and here we can paste it and table 2 okay so let's make uh, the number 1 as 40 number 2 as 30 or 31 or 50 that is fine or first one is 60 now run this so that it, it will be added it is not added okay is it created or not the table no it is not created yet so create the table 2 okay it's not taking check okay let me remove default and check is it 30 okay I think it is not we need to use db1 okay now run this okay it's not still the default okay what is happening here check why it is not taking the check I think I'm missing something check is equal to 30 I don't know I don't think so it should be like this greater than check check age check age 30 age check is equal to 30 no yes so check uh, the condition it's kind of condition age is greater than 30 okay so this is you need to understand this one let me write it down in the top here so div, uh, checking is done like this okay and default is done like this default I want 40 so it will give 40 check it will check the age should be greater than 30 so I will insert the records then you will get the understanding so let's create the table and select star from table 2 one second okay so the table is created ID name age you can see that and I, right now what I will do I will just add two records first so it will be added okay executed successfully now we have x1 x1 60 50 now the third record but I will do I will okay 20 just run this and see is it adding no it is not adding why because we have put the check constant it should be greater than 30 if I will put here 30 it will not take it because we have put the check constant so now it is giving us uh, the uh, cross sign because it is not taking this because we have put the condition that it should be uh, greater than 30 age so if it will 31 it will take this so 
means execute this and select star from table 2 and check out the result we have 1 2 3 60 50 and 31 all right now here you can see that uh, we have uh, and one more thing if i will run this again it will take it okay because i have to show you the primary key the meaning of the primary key so i will cover that also so just uh, select star from table 2 and uh, check this out we have now you, you can see that for the table 2 we have duplicates 1 2 3 1 2 3 for the id even for the name because name can be duplicate right so we can't stop that but id if id is duplicate then there is a problem because this is actually the duplicacy and which is not good so that's why we use the primary key now here we can see that the table 2 has 1 2 3 1 2 3 id is repeating now what i will do i will just create a table 3 or then i will show you what is happening so here i will just create table 3 and i will make the id as a primary key right primary key so primary key is a unique key so name everything is same that is fine and select star from table 3 now if i will try to first it will add that is no issue okay first three but if i will try to add again for example right now i will execute it so the run it is run successfully i will run it again okay i have done something wrong three three and three so run this okay I think table is not created I think so so ex execute okay it is run now and run it again the inserting value that is okay it is inserted now check the records we have 1 2 3 that is fine x1 x1 it's it's okay and 60 50 31 that is fine now if I will try to run it again it will not run it will give us cross see it is giving us cross why because it is see it is giving us cross 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 why it is happening because we have the id as the primary key right so it is not allowing us the duplicacy but if i will take it as like one one two one three one it will add because it is unique so primary key is always unique right right and it can't be null also so hope you have got the understanding of the constant the primary key is also done and null, uh, not null is also done unique default check and foreign key so what is foreign key actually this is a primary key of another table right uh, let me explain you for example we have table 1 and table 2 if ID in the table 1 is uh, in the table 3 we can say if if ID is the primary key in this table 3 right so this is primary key now in the if there is a relationship between two tables for example if we want to create a relationship between table 2 and table 3 so we need to make id as the foreign key for what for table 2 so that then it will be i mean kind of relationship we can say that so foreign key is what this is a primary key of another table I mean if the in the table 2 it has I mean ID is not the primary key ID will be a foreign key which is the primary key for table 3 and table 2 has its own primary key that will be different okay so table 2 can have one primary key and one foreign key and that foreign key will be of another table to make the relationship so that is the constant primary key not null unique default check foreign key right so hope you have got the understanding
see you soon in the next session thank you so much hello so today i will show you how to add the i mean how to i mean today i will just uh, show you how you can create the tables insert the value so the script is attached right so you can download and uh, download and copy paste here inside workbench okay so this is the script you have to copy paste it that's it okay this is the script and uh, you have to create the database database too so first of all when you will copy paste the script so the database is db2 so run this execute it do it one by one okay to avoid any error you can see it is green coming green that is good create database database 2 is created check the schemas we have db2 here see it is created used use db2 run now create first table that is customer so choose this and run this okay create table customer it is not created fail to open the reference table employees so take use db2 and run this still it is showing so do one thing remove this and remove this now use db2 actually this is db2 we have created db2 one second so just take it as small db2 because this is small okay db2 is coming what is happening so first of all let me drop database db2 okay it is dropped now i will refresh it it's not anymore use db2 and remove this one remove this one with the okay now run this refresh okay it is created it is not taking table because foreign key okay we have taking the foreign key here so it will not take because from the cell we need to take first the table which is the foreign key we don't have the employees yet okay so you need to understand this because foreign key is the primary key of the another table so we have to create that table first so it is holding which one the reference is employees so go find so go down go down and down and if we have to create employees first so this one we need to create so just run this okay but there is a foreign key for references employees that is fine but offices I th so it it will not execute because offices is actually uh, the ref the foreign key so we have to go to the office and uh, first of all we have to create the office okay so create the office now it has no any primary key so we can create it now it is executed successfully and offices has office code where care 10 not null city where care 50 not null phone where care 50 not null address line 1 address line 2 state country postal code 
territory all these are not null and where care primary key definitely office code here that is fine and this is engine in ODB default character set latin 1 and now we have to insert the data so insert this is the data and execute it now if you want to uh, because I have not given the select statement so you can if you want to check it out you can just run this select star form what is that it is offices okay so this is actually the statement uh, the running statement so I have not given this I have only give the script you can run this so I am showing this so you will get the understanding how the data is uh, being created so first of all we have to create the table which has no foreign key okay so select star from offices and we have the office table created office code city phone and is, is there any primary key yes office uh, code is the primary key see this one office code see above already uh, the office code and in the below we can see that office uh, it is primary key so we can create the primary key like this also by just putting the comma and primary key and under the primary in the brackets we can take the column name or the field name okay okay so this is done or offices is done now order detail let's check it out it, it has is there any yes it has the orders and products so I mean orders is itself no 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 orders is also products is also so we can't create this right now now we will go back and we will create the previous one so let's let's go back here and first one was which one is this the first one is customer and it has the primary key which is employees and we have right now just created the office code so employees uh, this one is actually customer so we have to find employees first because there is the foreign key for the employees so we will yes so this is the employees and it is okay now it will run because we have created the office table and this office table is the primary key and for this table this is the foreign key so I already explained that foreign key is actually the primary key of another table so office code is the primary key of offices right and this is the foreign key and here employees it is referencing the foreign key to itself also so there are two foreign key oh, one is the another table foreign key and one is itself foreign key employees and we, I will create this and you will okay so let's create the table first and check this out is it coming green yes it is coming green uh, okay first of all let's check this out because we have got some kind of select star from employees and select star form we have to run this the statement the query okay everything is created that is fine okay so this is also created the table now we have to put the value into the employees hope you're getting the point so this is the employees and I will just execute it it is run successfully not yes it is run yes yes it is run yes so yes this is this this is green see the insert into yes it is done and which one is that it is it is select star from employees and I will run this and we have the table with us cool now offices is also done 
and employees is done now what is next next we have to take what we have to take we have to take check this out the first one is which the first one is customer so for the customer we have the foreign key employees yes now we can create the customer table so choose the table and run this electric charge kind of symbol and it is I think created so let's check this out it is giving us kind of uh, this yellow uh, kind of uh, ex I mean uh, let me show you from employee uh, no it is customers customers it is wait for some moment it is hanged I think okay it's been closed it is hanged I think so let's let me open it again alright so let me open it out first alright so local instance click on the local instance and it will asking it will ask for the password so I am putting the password okay if it happens with you you can open it again so you don't need to worry okay so we have this we are here so select star from customers and check this out is this table created it is showing no database select so let's select the database use db2 because we have opened it again so we have to choose the database first okay so we have the customer table created now we have to install the value into the customer and this is the script just choose the complete script and run this now it is done select star from customers right this is the customer table and we have inserted the value inside this and let's check this out is it inserted or not and here you go we have the customer table right next is employees we have already done the next one is offices we have done this also the next is order details so check this out we have okay we have uh, the foreign key product and orders so we have to go to the product and orders order detail has is there any primary key for order detail okay this is yes this is order details but we have to go to the orders and products first so go down and find orders and products first right and first uh, just need to understand you that we can't create a table with foreign key first we have to create that table which I mean the foreign key has okay if we have the foreign key in the table first of all we have to go to that table because if we have the foreign key that foreign key is actually the primary key for another table so we have to find that another table and we have to create that another table first so which we are doing right now okay we can create the, uh, the this one payments also because uh, it has only one primary key which is customers and we have already created the customers so what we will do we can let's create this one first okay so this is done and select star from payments and check this out is it created or not all right so table is created and what is inside this table inside this table we have a customer number which is integer 11 this is actually the size not null the constraint check number where care 50 not null payment date not null which is a date 
amount which is decimal not null so 10 comma 2 is what 10 means maximum 10 character and 0.22 like this if we have 10.22 I mean it, it's like this okay 2 decimal primary key is what customer number and check number this is actually uh, we are making it's, it's called a composite key actually because in the table there is a only one primary key so uh, this primary key actually is uh, we are making uh, with the combination of uh, customer number and check number constant is uh, the customer table I mean uh, the foreign key is the uh, customer number from the customer table so which is already I mean we have created the customer num uh, customers table already now we have to add the value to the payment so check this just insert the values choose this and run this so we have this is the payment and we can execute this we don't need this create table product lines okay uh, the product line is actually the primary key it it, it uh, doesn't have any foreign key so we can create this okay first of all select the payment table is it done or not select star from payment is it payment or payments let's check this out or we can do that we can run now if it if it will not come we can take this as I mean we can change that so run this first and yes it is payments so this is also created next one is product line so product line has no no foreign key so product lines has product line where care not null text description where care 4000 by default null means if we will add any value it, uh, I mean doesn't add any value it will give us null by default HTML description is medium text okay image is medium lobe okay so this is uh, actually the medium lobe is also the data type this is for the image okay if we want to add any image so we use lobe medium lobe medium lobe is I mean it's for the image data type okay I, I just shown you the uh, main data types which is 95 percent used so because when we need the image for a particular uh, table then we can use medium load medium lobe okay next one is all right so we have this uh, the table is product line so is it so we have to insert the data so let's check this out select star from product lines to check that is it created or not and we will run this so we are not getting anything yet so is it not created yet let's create it okay now execute it okay we have the product line table also and just insert the values okay this is execute this and just copy select statement and run this and check this out is it run or not yes we have the table okay now coming to the point we have the products so product has any foreign key yes it has the product line so we can create this and this is done product lines is product lines done product has what product has product lines so it should be okay it's done now and select star from what product 
so we have products so let's see is that product table is created or not yes it is created and what is inside this we have product code we have product name product line product six scale product vendor product description all are in worker and product description is a text so what is text text is actually only the text but where care is it can be a text it can be a number or it can be a combination of number and text okay quantity stock small int six okay buy price decimal ten comma two and m m r m s r p it should be m r p i think so okay whatever msrp decimal 10 comma 2 not null primary key product code that is fine this is the first one is the primary key and product line okay it is actually the combination it is the no it is the key product line okay it is just okay primary key is actually the product code only and constant we are taking the foreign key product line and this is that is fine and product line see the product line we just created above the table this product lines right so this is referring because this is the foreign key and foreign key is actually the primary key of that another table so this we can see the product line so product line has the primary key see the this one so this is the primary key but which is here foreign key for the products now we have to insert the value we have let's we have the products yes we have the products now we will insert the value and check this out okay so execute this right so we have products table ready almost and I will run this and see we have the table ready product code product name product line product skills product vendor product description quantity in stock buy price MR MSRP okay now just check uh, I mean we have to check we uh, have we missed anything or not so select products is done the products table is done product line is done payment is also done and what is next so we have next one is payment okay payment is also done yes payment has okay done it is done yes the next one is this table what is that let's check this out so we are checking okay we are in the orders so we have not done the orders now check the orders in the orders what we have we have the customer so it is done customer is done actually the foreign key customers so we can create this table also create orders so first of all create this table and then run and just select star from orders and check this out is it the table created or not we can see that the table is created so what this table consists of order number order date required date ship date which is date and default null status is where care 15 or null comments is a text customer number is integer 10 okay primary key and foreign key is the customer table 
So we will just use this table. I mean we will insert the values inside the table and we have inserted and just run this I mean the orders table we have to run so we have the orders table and we have to run this okay so it is I mean we have the order number we have the order date we have the required date ship date we have status we have comments we have customer number so hope you have get the understanding for this okay now orders orders table is created what is next let's see the next one is the next one is its long table so let's see what is the, that table okay okay wow it's too long I don't want to miss something so I don't want to take a risk so I think this is the last table okay offices and it has the okay offices is it created I think it is created let's select star from offices I don't know we had created this or not so let's check this out maybe we had created yes we had created this table already we have office code city phone address line one two straight country postal code at three so good and next select employees is also done and the first one is what this is customer this is also done so almost we have created all the tables so in this way we can create the tables now what I will do I will just insert new workbench and I will use DB2 and I will type show tables I think show tables okay so how uh, what are the tables we have so we can see that we have the customer table employees table offices orders payment product line products okay so one two three four five six seven we have seven tables how many tables we have seven tables okay so we have total seven tables right so let select so star from customer let me write it down so we have customers table then we have the employees table so I will write here employees then we have offices table so I will write here offices then we have orders then we have payment so I will write here orders orders payments and one more thing it's not a case sensitive so 
we can write it in the capital letter also it will not impact it will give us a result payments is uh, okay next one is product lines so write down the product lines product lines and next one is products so these are the seven table we have and we can check one by one that is it working or not so we have the product table we have the product line table we have the payments yes it is working we have the orders table we have the offices table good we have employees table and we have the customers table right hope you have got the understanding how to create the tables how to create this uh, I mean how to use a script to create the tables and uh, I have already attached the script you have to download that and uh, after the download but we have to do you have to I mean first of all you have to download then you have to copy paste here see here you have to copy paste and you have to create the tables one by one step by step and keep in mind if any tables if if there is a table which does not have any foreign key you can create that table instantly at that time but if that table is consist of a foreign keys then you can't create those table directly at the first place you have to go to the uh, that those table first which has the primary key i mean the pro, i mean the foreign key table which is actually the primary key so you have to create those table first when you will create those table then you will uh, will be able to create the table which is consist of the foreign key which is actually the primary key of that table which you were create at the first place okay first first i mean i i am saying that first of all create the table which does not have the primary key uh, my apology which does not have the foreign key and after that create the tables if they are have the foreign key then go to the tables which have the uh, I mean the for foreign key which is actually the primary key for another table so go to that table and check that table first and if that table is also consist of the foreign key so then you have to go to that table first then come back to the uh, go back to that table then create that table then go uh, come back to the previous table and then create that table then you have to go to the more previous table and you can create the table so in this way you can create the table and you have to check by using select star from by using what this one select star from customer you have seven total seven tables in database 2 and show tables is actually show us the tables how many tables we have inside the data database so we have total seven tables inside the database and in this way we can select the multiple I mean the database uh, the tables we can select that yes it is created so you to you have to do this step by step and you have to check the check by running the statement okay so that you will be uh, assured that yes this table is created or not so hope you have got the understanding of this session See you soon in the next session. Thank you so much. Hello. Welcome to the session. So now uh, we have created the tables, customers, employees, offices, orders, payments, product lines and products right inside the DB2 which is our database now how to check 
that these tables are created or not so use just run this first use db2 which is actually our database for which we have created the multiple table here you can see customers employees offices orders payments product lines and product products so this is our schema db2 so we will go to the db2 and we can see we have the tables we will click on tables and we have customers employees offices orders payments product lines and products so we can see that these tables are created now if you want to see this table using the command then we need to use show tables so choose short table show tables and run it and we can see we have the list of customers employees offices orders payments product lines and products right all right so let's start the session first of all we need the details from which table let's get the detail from customers so we need we will write select star from customer okay so star is what everything from customers table and select is a dql dql already explained you dql data query language data query language select so if I will run this what will happen and hash is for what hash hash is for commenting right so that okay at the time of execution uh, it will exclude hash so right so run this select star from customers now this is our table we have with us if I mean if we need a particular item for example we need customer number we need customer name okay and we need customer city and we need country and what we have more details okay so we will choose those columns so how we can write the queries select we will write these customer number which we want I mean which we are looking for from customers okay so this is the query for selected specific fields okay then we will just write the name for those fields and we will run this and we will get only the data for the fields which we have selected so these customer number customer name city country are the fields and this is one zero three one one two one one four one one nine these are the records now for example okay alias what is alias alias means giving a name giving a dummy name okay or changing the name so for example this is uh, I mean this these are the fields which we are looking for but I want it to be as as ID I want it to be as employee name for example okay I want it to be city so it is city it's okay I don't need I, I don't want anything to be changed it's country I don't want I don't want it to be changed so if I will run this what will happen now you can see that customer number is coming as ID customer name is coming as employee name and others we have not changed the alias so it is not coming 
it is showing us as it is so hope you have get the understanding of alias you have get the understanding of how to get the specific field from the table okay next is limit so what is limit limit means we are looking for a specific for example uh, because in the records or in the tables the tables can be I mean it can be large it can be thousand records two thousand ten thousand it can be one lakh records so if you will run that query it will may take some time to execute it if we have millions of records so but if you want to check a particular records or something or even if we need a particular records specific records okay then we use limit okay I will show you the limit use also okay let me okay for that uh, okay for now just understand what is limit because to understand the limit uh, I have to explain you more other functions and operators uh, so that you will get the better understanding for limit right now just I'm giving the overview for limit because at this stage you will find it difficult to understand the limit because when we run the limit we have some criteria then we run the limit okay because we okay okay right now just uh, for example limit 5 if I will type limit 5 it will give us 5 records it will give us first five records just this is what limit do for example if I will write select star from customers okay if I will run this what will happen I will get the complete records but I don't need the complete records we need a uh, five records okay so what I will do we can see that right now we have one zero three first record so let me write down first five records which is one zero three next is one one two next is one one four next is one one nine and next is one two one okay so these are the five records I have written and if I will type select star from customers and if I will type limit 5 what will happen it will give us first five records only see 103 112 115 119 121 and this is same 103 112 114 119 121 if I will write here limit 10 and run this it will give us first five trend records if I will type here one it will give us only first record which is one zero three and if I will write here for example I am writing here the two so it will give us first two records right alright let me cover the limit here also so for that I am covering the limit here so first of all for the limit you should have understanding of order by it's actually a clause so if I will write select star from customers right and if I will write here the order by customer number what will happen let me show you now we can see that we have 103 first 112 114 119 121 so there is no such difference when I will run this one for example let's take first five records run first this okay this is already run so you can see one zero three one one two one one four one one nine one two one and if I will run this we will get the same thing there is no such difference by order I mean if I will run this uh, 
okay so there is no such difference but if I will write for example the customer name is starting from A then it is starting for from S and if I will write here select star from customer order by customer name what will happen see the difference see it is 242 coming first 168 168 249 237 but here customer name alpha American Amica ANG what is happening here actually it is arranging all the data as per the customer name when we are running this query in the MySQL workbench what is happening what is order by doing order by sorting the data in ascending order by default okay ascending order means first of all if it is a number it will the first number will be one two three like that and if it is the alphabet the first number is a if there is any data which is started from a now after a we have alpha I mean after then we have a a a a I mean what is happening here it is arranging the data first of all I mean for example now we are getting a if there is any data which is starting from B we will get B also so let's see so let us see if it is not it will shift to C so I will go down and we can see we have B so we are getting the data which is starting from B then we have we will get the data starting from C so it is actually in the ascending order first of all the lowest alphabet then highest 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 like A B C D E F G A to Z see you can see so that is the that what order by do it arrange the table as per the column or as per the field we have chosen we have chosen customer name and we are saying give us the records basis on customer name sort by I mean it's kind of sort by I mean we are sorting the data basis on customer name okay so order by is what is what order by is doing it is sorting the data basis on customer name if I will type here the sort the data basis on sta uh, state or country right now we can see the country is France USA Italy and if I will arrange it first of all if there is any country for example Australia the first country will be Australia so let us see that so select from star from customer name order by I will copy this and I will type here country so what will happen let's see now if I will run this it will arrange all the data as per the country so the country where is the country okay Australia 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 then Belgium see the difference right now the customer name is a a s a a so actually what is happening it is arranging the data as per the country now if I wanted to pay range by country plus customer name also what I will do I will just let me copy this and I want it to be arranged by first country name then arrange it by customer name see the difference right now it is arranging basis on country name so the name is coming like this okay but if I will arrange it first I mean order by country then customer name what will happen then see the difference now you can see AA is coming and here we have Australia 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 yes Australia we are coming now what, what is it is doing it is first of all sorting all the data basis on all the records or the data basis on country and after that it is selecting Australia the complete one and from the Australia it is selecting customer name and arranging it in the ascending order same way after that what is happening it is selecting country name 
the I mean the which is starting from B and for the B it is selecting the range and after choosing that it is arranging the customer name right see CQ so it is happening in friction of seconds okay so actually what is happening first of all when we are running this query the all the records is arranging basis on country and when it is arranging basis on country then it is checking from Australia and from Australia it is going to customer name and after going to customer name it is arranging the records alphabetically A to Z or increment order for Australia same way when Australia will have completed it will switch to Belgium and it is choosing Belgium then it is arranging customer name then it is choosing Canada this Canada one two three three records now for the three records what is doing it is checking the customer name and arranging the data basis on I mean the increment order A to Z if there is a no there is no a for example here there is no a there is a oh, let me see what is that so C we have Canada cubic royal so C it is checking okay from 3 it is just check is there a exist no exist is there any data come from B no is there any data yes C so it is putting C then after that it is it will find D E F G H and there is no data for D E I mean which is starting from D E F G H so it will go to the last the I mean upcoming one which exists so there is no data between C to Q okay that is fine now it will find yes there is a data which is I mean the customer name which is starting from Q so it will take the Q now after that it will go to the R and find is there any R yes there is a R so it will R now it will find S but because he will not go to the S because it is completed because it has only three records so it will not check any S so in this way uh, the data is getting order by or sorted so now for example we need now what happens for the limit give I mean the requirement is kind of that give us okay limit what happens give us or show us the customers which starting from uh, I mean if I will say starting from A then I mean we can use another we have another operator for that so what I will do because it's not uh, because if I will go with that I need to tell you that operator also okay what I can do I mean for example uh, we need the okay top okay show us top five customer name basis on country name order by only top five okay top five in the sense key uh, I mean for example uh, let me take the select okay for the for okay right now okay so I will uh, choose this now I will run this and okay we are getting the records now what we will do we will just put limit so we will get the top five customer name basis on country name order by so just write down limit 5 so we will get the top 5 customer so this is what we are looking for okay so these are the top 5 customer for what for the Australia so select 
star form goes to order by country name limit 5 but because it's it's, it's, it's for Australia but there is a possibility if, if, if they will ask top 10 then what will happen see I mean there are m many scenarios but right now uh, just run this now we are getting top 10 customer and out of them some from Australia some from Austria some from Belgium okay so these are the top 10 customer which is I mean we are showing based on country sorting okay. hello welcome to the session all right today's session is clause right what is clause clause is used for analyzing the data or we can say to get the data which we are looking for okay because we have lot of data in the table or we have multiple tables and inside one table for example we have select star from customers okay and if I will run this we are getting the data that is fine but if I need a particular data or specific range or I will say specific records from this table we need clauses so clauses what they do they give us the data which we are looking for right so it's kind of uh, for example it's kind of a chef okay uh, for example you want to eat a pizza chef will be the one so if, if you want a variety of pizzas okay if you want uh, onion and capsicum and okay some another want only cheese cheese pizza cheese bust or mushroom and jalapeno so you are giving the instruction to whom to the chef almost 80 percent is they are using but your they have everything so they have mushroom also everything they have so consider that is a data now it is I mean because you are instructing the chef so chef is acting like a clause means you have we have the data we have the cap I mean we have the every ingredients available in the store and you are instructing the chef that okay give me a capsicum and onion pizza another person is asking for mushroom and tomato like that alapino so ingredients is available in the kitchen but you are giving the instruction to who to the chef or even in the menu there are a variety of pizzas cheese burst fresh pan and type of pizzas uh, veg extravaganza farmhouse cheesy delight okay so that variety is what when you are choosing a cheesy delight or you, you are choosing a veg extravaganza you are ch choosing the farmhouse pizza so because chef knows that these are the ingredients which which will be used to make this pizza so chef will have all the in ingredients so those all the ingredients will be the data from the data what is the customer requirement what is the user requirement so he ordered veg extravaganza so now the chef is aware that to prepare the veg extravaganza what ing ingredients we need to use to prepare the farmhouse pizza what ingredients we need to use so he has the data he will pick it up the things which will be used to prepare the veg extravaganza I mean almost everything will be the same but there will be different because veg extravaganza is different farmhouse is different definitely both are pizza but ingredients the toppings will be different someone is looking for cheese burst but someone is not someone is looking for extra cheese 
right so now the chef will act as a clause because he know how to prepare veg extravaganza he know how to prepare farmhouse he know how to prepare onion and capsicum he know which how what are, will be the toppings used what is the customer requirement the user requirements so that is clause now this is the table and from this table we need if we need only the data where the country is France how we will get that how we will use that I want from this table we want only the records which is France we don't want any other records how we will do that we will use the clause we will use the chef so clause is like a chef because chef knows your requirements clause knows what you looking for you want France we will call chef give me France pizza <laughs> just a jokes apart I mean France uh, I'm just correlating the things uh, I'm saying that we need a specific information from the table how we will fetch that information we need clauses we need a chef in the middle okay we want this we want this please so that is clause so there are main three to four clauses okay which is 95 percent I will say 99 percent or even 100 percent number one where very important chef of SQL <laughs> I mean to say clause number two order by number three having number four group by these four clauses or you can say these four chefs I mean chef is one in the kitchen multiple chefs because I mean I mean to say that these are the four clauses or you can consider one chef which is clause and clause has I mean here is kind of to get its ingredient order having groups so actually where is a clause order by is a clause having is a clause groups is a clause okay so what where do what order by do what having do what groups do so where is a clause which will be used to prepare veg extravaganza order by is a clause which is used to prepare the veg extravaganza but we I don't want the, this topping remove this but I want veg extravaganza remove this or uh, I will say that I mean uh, how okay I'm just okay uh, just leave the chef part okay uh, so where is mostly used clause okay order by having groups so these are the clauses so what they will do they will give the info, uh, information or the data which we are looking for so let's discuss one by one where okay so let's start from where where clause okay select star from customers where and it's not case sensitive already explained you SQL is not a case sensitive doesn't matter you are using capital letter or small letter doesn't matter okay select star from customers where I want the country to be France where country is equal to France so it is what it is doing what it will do let's see the result so we have got the result and see the country is France is there any other country let's see no there is no such country only France is showing why because we have used the where clause and what the where clause do it filters the data it filters the data 
from table it filters the data from table so we are asking for France it giving us France if I will ask for something else for example uh, let me we have the okay we have the France so what we will do we okay I want USA or Canada so what will happen it is giving us the records which is only exist for Canada so it is filtering the data basis on country right so that is the where clause now for example we want not Canada we want only USA so we will use USA so that is the power of where clause it gives us the filter data so we are applying the filter on country for example we want the not the country we want the city so where so what I will do I will just copy paste it and where city is equal to Las Vegas Las Vegas so what it will do it will give us the filter data basis on city which is Las Vegas so we have Las Vegas or runs USA one second okay run USA okay let's choose city which is NYC or something else let's see what kind of cities we have let's take what okay let's take all customers let's like start from customers and run this and choose a city any city so let's take is there any okay let's take Paris so select city uh, select storm star from customer where city is equal to Paris city is equal to Paris so let's check this out what we will get so okay so this is the data which is fil filtering out basis on city so that is the use of where clause hello welcome to the session all right so today's session is about order by clause so in the previous session we covered the where clause so today's session is order by clause all right so what is order by clause what is order by so let's take some data for example I'm applying the okay uh, the okay let's take without where clause first or okay just run this okay and I mean we have already the data here which is basis on Paris now order by if I will take the order by what will ha happen for example in the customer name if I will do it order by customer name what will happen A will come first then LA then LY right so let's do this and see it is happening or not not order by customer name and I will run this so auto canal petit will come first then LA corne will come see the same thing is happened auto canal then LA corne then Lyon why it is happening because we have applied order by clause and it is by default in ascending order right so first of all we'll take f we'll, it will take if it is a text then it will start from A to Z and if it is a number it will start from 1 to 3 
for example if instead of customer name I will take it as customer number then the output will be 172 then highest number will be 2 because in the data set is 250 and then it is 406 so let's check is uh, check this out is this uh, I mean the pattern happening or not so I will take it order by customer number okay let me take here customer number and see the output so the output will be 172250406 see 172250406 so in this I mean the data is arranging itself if I will remove the where clause which is for the filtration then it will apply on the complete data see so we are getting one zero one one what is happening oh my god I have run complete query okay okay actually I, I did not select this and uh, because whatever with the query we have written all those happen alright so just run this See one zero three, one one two, one one four, one one nine. Okay, one two four, one two five, one twenty eight. So increment order. If I will take it as D E S C, what will happen? It will arrange itself by descending order. So so highest will be come first. Four nine six is the highest in this data set. Then four nine five, four eight nine, four eight seven. And if I will take same here the where clause, the same thing will happen. Basis on order. Now customer number. So let me take this. Now it will apply on basis. I mean, it will filter out the data first. Then on the filter data, it will apply order by on this. So 406 is the highest. So this one is coming first, then 250172. So this is order by clause, right? Okay, next is group by clause. Group by and to understand group by it is little bit tricky one okay so let me take select star from customer first and run this okay now group by actually bases on the duplicacy if we have any duplicate data for example state because there is a state customer can be many customer can be one cus I mean many customer can have say same state okay 10 customer can we have same state or same country so let me show you what is the meaning of group by so it will actually group by for example let me take here the city state or let me one second let's start from customers okay and I will take it as group by I want it to be based on country or state or country okay I'm taking country for now now see what will happen it is not I mean uh, when we are running this it is not giving the output it is giving us the error so, okay because first of all let's make it customers and run now it is giving us correct result so what is happen here for example we have the country apply on the country so France USA Australia Norway Poland right so to make you understand it better what I will do I will first of all we need to create the table or what I can do for example let take start from employees let's take the employees table and see what kind of data we have so that I will be able to make you understand a little bit more so we are getting 1002 1002 and if I will 
group by it by report to let's see what happens reports to it is reports to okay can you see that this data is looking little bit small because 102 1056 1088 or uh 1102 okay now Okay, so now if I will apply on job title, what will happen? You can see sale representative multiple times. It will come only one time. Job title. So, alright, so let me take it as job title and see the difference. Now you can see that okay sale manager uh, actually okay this is also different APAC email so it is perfect so what I'm saying let me show you let apply it on reports to post to and run this and see we have sale REP sales REP sales REP REP right we have sales manager ABAC but when I I mean sales representative is multiple time because we have applied group by report to so it it actually group by basis on the field which we are choosing now if I will take the job title and run this now we can see it is executing basis on the job title field so VP sales, VP marketing, sales manager, sales REPC, this one. So that is the working of group by. It actually group whatever be the uh, field we are choosing, it group the databases on that. So it is actually mostly used when we use the aggregation function or aggregation operator. Right? Aggregation. okay so for example we have min function okay I mean min function we have max we have sum we have average okay so these are the function which is mostly used by group by because if uh, for example is there any salary I mean let's take the salary for the customer or the payment select star from payments because it is related to some kind of here the uh, the 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 number exists I mean it is deal with the number see the amount the salary the price okay so right now okay we have customer number one zero three six zero six six amount one zero so multiple customer now you will get to understand what I am trying to say for example if we want to know for example let's uh, take this one select star from payments which is actually the table name where customer number is equal to 103 okay now run this and see the output okay so this is the output we have Now what is happening? 103, 103, 103 and see the amount we have. S select 6066.78 plus 14571. What I am doing here? I am just taking the sum 103 then 
वन फोर फाइव सेवन एंड वन सिक्स सेवन सिक्स ओके आई मीन कस्टमर नंबर सो आई एम जस्ट आई विल शो यू वाई वी यूज द ग्रुप बाय सो वन फोर ओके डबल फोर एंड प्लस वन सिक्स सेवन सिक्स पॉइंट वन फोर एंड रन दिस वी आर गेटिंग टू टू थ्री वट इज द आउटपुट वी आर गेटिंग फ्रॉम दिस वी आर गेटिंग टू टू थ्री वन फोर पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स सो आई हैव नोटेड इट डाउन सेम वे वट आई विल डू आई विल सेलेक्ट द पेमेंट अगेन एंड दिस वी हैव वन वन टू ऑल्सो सो ओके इज वन वन टू लार्ज और स्मॉल बिकॉज इट इज ओके इट इज स्मॉल सो दैट इज फाइन वन वन टू ओके वन वन जीरो थ्री इज डन लेट मी टेक द I will copy this and I will paste here one one two and I will show you one by one what I'm trying to say. Okay, so this is the output we have. Right, we have this one. Okay, I have to put the closing semicolon. Now one one two we have the output and let's write. I mean, select, and we have one four this 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 amount. Okay, one four one nine one point one two, and next one I am taking thirty two. Next one is thirty two three two six four one point nine eight four one point nine eight, and next one is triple three. Four seven point eight eight. So let's check it out again. One four one nine one point one two three two six four one point nine eight. Okay, triple three. So let's take the sum for this, and the sum is okay. We have not taken the sum. Let's take the sum plus and. Plus, and we have the sum with us eight zero one eight zero eight zero one eight zero point nine eight. So what we will do? We will check this one by one. So let's check for the customer number one zero three, and yes. so this is our first customer now if i will take the same one select star for payment where customer number is 103 okay first of all let's take this one and we have this 103 okay now what i am doing i am just grouping so i mean uh, to grouping what i will do where customer is 103 group by group by customer number let's see what happen see we are getting 103 so that is actually uh, we are grouping so 103 is duplicate so it is just taking the grouping 103 and it is giving us 6066.78 6 which is the first record for the table now group by is uh, actually connected with the values the amounts when we need to take the sum or maximum or minimum now in place of star what i will do i will take max of Uh, for example let me take the sum first so sum of what sum of the amount so i will take the amount and give it as alias as total amount right now run this and we will get 22314.36 see we are getting total amount 22314.36 and 
let me write it as star comma and see what happens now we are getting everything okay the table so star means everything from the table previously we are just taking the sum to make it I mean see the total amount is 2231 4.36 means that is fine that is okay which we are looking for which we were looking for let me remove this and if I will run it we will get 2231 4.36 so let's see is, is it happening or not yes it is happening 2231 4.36 and if we want to see the complete table we will put star comma now we will get the complete table also and the amount also so we are getting the complete uh, uh, table also but actually we don't need the it doesn't matter because it is taking the sum so we need only the customer number and the total amount right so that is the meaning of group by now same thing I will copy this and go down and I will take for what for 112 and what I so the output will be 8018.80.98 uh, so let's see is it happening or not see the output is 8018.98 so that is the functionality of group by so it is mostly used with the sum max minimum average now what I will do I will just take the copy and paste and I will just take I mean the star is okay I will remove the where clause okay where clause is only I used only for your understanding now if we want, I, I, if we want it to be run on every customer number so we will we don't need the where because where is to filter the data now 103 is giving us 22314 so let me show you here we have 22314 see 4.2231436 uh, and this is for what this is for 103 so 103 customer is 22314.36 that is fine the next one is 112 we are getting 8080.98 1128080.98 so what group I do it it group I mean it it remove the duplicacy and give us the unique records and on that basis we can use the aggregate function which is sum max now right now we are using sum so it is giving us sum now what I will do I will just copy this and I will use in place of sum I will use max so it will give us the maximum number for that particular so 1457.44 so see this in the result 103 we have three number 1 2 3 what is the maximum maximum is 147571.44 see this is the same number so that is the maximum next 112 the maximum number showing us 33347.88 so let's see this this is this 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 is the maximum one okay we can see that this is the maximum number so this is giving us the maximum number so that is the functionality of group by by the aggregation function hope you are getting the clarity now now what I will do I will just copy this and I will use every function and to make you understand better so maximum as actually max amount then I will copy this and I will just enter and comma enter I will use it as minimum then I will copy this and minimum for uh, we need to use it as minimum also and just put it as enter minimum and okay and next one we want it to be sum and it will be the sum next one is uh, let's take it as the average so these are the most used aggregation function from uh, from customer from where we are using the table name is payment okay so the payments we will use from payments okay from payments okay group by customer number now see the result okay so maximum amount minimum amount sum of amount uh, maximum average we need to take the average and here it is not taking let's type a v e r a g e it's not taking let's see is it taking or not I mean run this 
there is something wrong AVG it will be AVG I don't know why it is not let's see is it have pay taking or not okay so first one is maximum then minimum we have then two two three one four point three six is has and let's take the count function also then we will calculate that and see is it working average or not so C O U N T this actually count how many times that number exists particular uh, the I mean we are applying group by so it will show us how many times the particular customer number exists in the database so we can see that it is exists three times so this is some sort trip now uh, we will see average because it's not it's coloring blue so we will check is it working or not so for that uh, what I will do I will type select and I will type this number the sum double two three one four uh, point three six divided by three because that is how the average calculated average for uh, one zero three so this is allies uh, it's not taking the division why okay let's remove allies now run this okay it is giving us seven four three eight let's write it down seven four three eight point one two so check this out is this the answer or not seven four three eight point one two yes so that is correct it is working average that is fine it is working if we want to check the next one we can take eight zero one eight zero okay what I will do I will just copy this and we have eight zero the, uh, this one I am taking the sum eight zero eight zero one eight zero eight zero one eight zero point nine eight I am taking so let's check this out and we have two six seven two six so two six seven two six point nine nine three 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 like that so run this and see we uh, this uh, see the result now we have two six two six uh, okay this one two six seven two six point nine three three okay it is a uh, working absolutely fine so that is actually average this is not the average this is the comment C O U N T now run this so everything is working perfect so hope you have get the understanding of group by and how it is used with the aggregation function which is max minimum sum average count right so hope you have got the understanding of group by clause also next one is having clause okay actually uh, having clause is uh, used this is also used with the aggregation function okay so let me take this now I will just paste here and I will run this again it will give us the same result which we have because it is the same thing is already run now having means it is kind of a filter also but having is for filtering the aggregation function a where is filtering for the field right because uh, for example uh, for a group by this now what I will do I will just apply having because we have applied group by now we can't use where count amount is 3 or something is this or something is this because that's not the way it works it works with having we can't use where clause with group by make to understand so having so having count amount is equal to 3 so let's see the output what will happen 
can you can, have you realized what happens we are getting the count where count is 3 so that is the use of having for example if I will not use having what will happen I will run the above one which which doesn't have having so it will give us all everything 3 4 9 2 so actually having is applying the filter on the aggregation for example uh, the amount for example the max amount will be like this like that for example having count is 3 now for the count I want the filtration I mean we are applying the uh, having 3 that is fine okay now this is the normal filtration we are applying on the count but if we want the sum will be greater than uh, 8018098 okay so for example I will uh, type here the sum amount amount is equal to is greater than eight zero one eight zero point nine eight then we will we can see that one zero three will also I mean that removed everything which is less than this number that will be removed that is the meaning of this means because eight zero one eight zero we have put that sum of amount should be greater than this means everything which is less than this that will not exist that will be removed we are moving the toppings here okay so here we can see that the sum of the amount is greater than 8018098 okay for example uh, okay so now let's take the count is greater than okay we having max having a count amount actually this is not the amount but we have give it let's it give it another name because this is not the amount count times count counting or what key we can see the count uh, count what customer number or customer number reputation we can say uh, reputation count right something like that or what just make it a little bit smaller count customer count number counting or count customer number okay that is fine and having customer number is greater than 10 so let's run this and see if we are getting the result or not okay yes there is only one num uh, one customer number which have which exists 13 times I mean more than 10 times okay give us which is greater than 13 it will give us nothing because there is nothing which is nothing uh, there is no customer number which is greater than 13 so it will give us n nothing give us uh, greater than 9 or 8 now see the result and we have this 9 and 13 because we have put the condition filtration so having is doing what it is doing filtration where is also do the filtration but when we are we are using the aggregation function we can't use where okay we we need to use having we, we can't use where if I will use a group by customer number where accounting number it will not work it will give us error see it at the first place it is giving us error it is giving us the cross sign because where is see where is not okay once where is not valid at this position okay so okay let me change the position and put here now we are not getting the error okay now if you will run this we will get nothing why let's see it's, it's, it's giving us error see 
because with the aggregation we can't use have here we need to use having and if I will use having and now run it will not run because having always come after group by first group by will come then having will come right so you need to understand this so now if I will run this so we will get the output and which is greater than 9 which is 13 so hope you have got the understanding of the clauses the clauses we have covered are what we have covered where we have covered order by we have covered group by and we have covered having even we have covered some functions so functions we have covered also because to use having or group by we need the function so we have uh, covered aggregation function aggregation function is covered and what are those functions those functions are some max min av oh, one second average and the next one is we have covered some max mean average and count right and to use the having we can use having after group by and we can't use where clause when we are using the aggregation function we need to use having so remember that so hope you have got the understanding of the clauses and the some aggregation function and how to use and one more thing let me do it for order by also so I will copy this and paste here and I will use now this is the result we are getting by this but if I will choose group okay having where is the having 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 let's take having this one okay count amount no count amount we I'm doing some mistake here copy this again okay and paste here remove all and paste okay if I will run this query what will happen we will get this result which is showing us right now okay this is the result we will get by running this okay uh, and okay and this okay if I will run this we will get the same result which we are getting because this is the same query now okay let me increase this one or in greater than 3 I will say yeah, even we can remove this but okay okay 4 4 9 4 13 this uh, kind of output 13 4 4 okay this is the output we are getting but we want it to be order by then we can use order by also so we will use order by clause and basis on what I want it to be basis on count customer number so I will copy this and paste here see and just run and see first of all we will get the minimum number which is here what 4 I will execute it see 4 4 4 ok then we are getting 9 13 so if I will take it as greater than 2 then we will get the starting number will be 3 if it exists there then yes it exists so 3 is coming then 4 will come okay so it is sorting basis on what it is called sorting basis on the count customer number even we can order it by basis on customer number not cust count customer number customer only the customer number so we can do that so it's, it's up to you what kind of requirements you have so hope you have got the proper understanding of this session see you soon in the next session thank you so much hello 
all right welcome to the today's session and today's session i will explain you about ascending and descending order so whenever we we use order by clause by default the data will be arranged in ascending order okay so the thing is if we want the data to be descending order then we will use desc so right now if i mean the query is already run so i will just run it again for you so 3 3 is coming so I mean the highest number here is 13 we have put the condition which is greater than 2 if I remove the having okay so we will get everything so we are getting from 1 to last number which is 13 for the count customer number now I want it to be in the I mean by default order by is ascending order okay by default it arrange the arrangement will be always ascending order by default for the order by clause but if we want uh, the order by clause to be do descending what how we will do that we just put desc after the clause so this is the clause and desc that's it done 13.94444 and if i will remove this okay it will by default give us asc so we don't need to do asc you can do that is this not that you can't do that you can do that but there is no such difference because by default uh, we will get ASC so we don't need to do ASC okay if because we have done the order by so order by by default do ASC so hope you have get the understanding of ASC and ASC See you soon in the next session. Thank you so much. Hello. Welcome to the session. So I am just running the, the query from customers. Okay, run it. And we will have the data with us. Now you are already aware about the where clause right so select star from customer where country is equal to USA and run it so this is the filter data we have that's fine now coming to the point so today's session is about operators so what is operators so operators is like addition subtraction multiplication okay this is simple mathematical operators addition subtraction multiplication division okay so this is actually the arithmetic operators now if I want for example select star from payments let's take the example for payments okay and I will run this and see the result we have okay so this is the result now for example we want to add something uh, we have the amount that is fine but we want to add something in the amount we want to add I mean star comma and amount plus I want to add 10 okay as new amount right so this if I will run this we will get the 10 addition so now, now we can see that 6 0 double 6 and this is 7 6 so 10 is added same way here 1 4 5 7 1 1 4 5 8 1 1 6 7 6 1 6 8 6 1 4 1 9 1 4 2 0 1 okay uh, actually this is uh, 1 4 2 0 1 okay 10 addition 3 2 6 4 1 3 2 6 5 1 
so what is happening here the number 10 is adding so this is called addition I mean this is called arithmetic operator because addition subtraction multiplication and division are my arithmetic operator now I will just copy and I will paste here and I will minus 10 and I, I will take it as new amount okay add amount added amount okay just I'm giving name to understand you add amount added amount subtract amount or subtract amount and copy it and take it as division right and addition is done multiplication we need to do okay let's do the multiplication and copy and paste division so as multiplication I will type the star okay I mean it can be okay multiplication and division so let's see the result what we will get if I will run this okay amount its division is not taking okay actually we have to put the comma okay now it's fine run all right see number 10 is added okay added number 10 is subtracted okay subtracted double six five six ten subtracted double six seven six ten added multiplication with 10 okay six zero six six seven okay it is happening division everything is happening perfect so we have covered what we have covered arithmetic operator so this is arithmetic operator sometime we need to add sometime we need to subtract so we can use the arithmetic operator so hope you have got the understanding of arithmetic operators the next one is the most important operator which is logical operators most important operators logical operators all right so let's discuss one by one I mean there are a lot of logical operators so the first one is or so what is or or means if anything is true everything will be true means uh, okay let me take the example select star from the orders and run this okay this is the order okay there is nothing there is the dates okay let me take the customers or products let's take the products the data inside the products and run it okay we have so okay now I will use the filter first here where product line product line is equal to motorcycles motorcycles and just run it and see the result so we will get the data for motorcycles only see now this is the simple filtering now we we need the or or operator so when we will use the or operator or will be used when we need more than one condition for the filter the where is used for filter that is fine but we want the motorcycle the product line but we want the product vendor to be mean lean die cast okay or let me see there is another vendor okay there are a lot of vendors good so this will be the perfect example so we want for example 
okay it will give us only one because motorcycle has one so let me take something else let's see okay msrp okay motorcycle and there is one more condition give us for example highway let me copy this or okay we can copy anything i mean it's not that we need to copy this we can use min lin diecast or product sale scale uh, my apology is vendor product vendor is equal to what this is min lin diecast okay if i will run this see what will happen i think i have missed something min lin d i e c a s t it should run or p r o d u c t v e n d o r where okay it should show the result very strange it is not giving us the result but why i think i am doing something mistake M I N okay maybe I have Lin is also okay D I E C A S T I mean why it is not showing us okay run this it is not giving us the output very strange Okay, let me take where product vendor is it vendor or vendors it is vendor oh my god I have run all the state all the queries okay just wait let it run okay run this very strange we are not getting anything very strange is it vendor p r o d u c t v e n d o r min lin cast i mean why it is not giving us the output very strange thing is happening here product vendor it's not getting giving the output which is very very strange we are getting the message but we are not getting the output wow okay uh, product vendor is not exist it's saying p r o okay product okay okay actually this is the mystery c p r o d u c t and it will give us the output okay now it is giving us the mean lean die cast okay so where product line product line is equal to motorcycle we chosen we had chosen so which i had taken example so normal filtration on what motorcycles motor let me see what is okay motorcycles right now if i will run this query we will get the data to be filter basis on product line motorcycle so all the motorcycle will come but we need the motorcycle that is fine but we need product vendor as mean lean die cast and 
it's not that it is from the motorcycle either it can be motorcycle or either it can be mean lean die cast so see the difference right now we have only the motorcycle see the complete data is for motorcycle now if I will take it as a or okay and product vendor mean lean die cast so see what happens now we are getting the motorcycle we are getting the classic cars also why it is happening we are getting is the more a uh, vintage car ships classics cars motorcycles but we are asking it to do the motorcycle but then why it is doing the filtering for classic cars to make uh, to understand it you need to understand or operator see the condition it's a condition either it will be a motorcycle or mean lean die cast so first of all it will filter out all the data which is motorcycle so we we are getting the motorcycle that is fine all the data which has the motorcycle so so we are getting the motorcycle now after that it will filter out the all the data which is mean lean die cast so after the motorcycle if I will pick up motorcycle now this is not motorcycle it is classic cars so it will be a mean lean die cast see mean lean die cast so now this is not vintage cars is not a motorcycle but it is mean lean die cast because either any one condition is true vintage cars mean it's vintage cars it's not a motorcycle but it is mean lean die cast is it product line is ships but product vendor is mean lean die cast which we are looking for classic cars but product vendor is mean lean die cast same way here studio m art models but product line is motorcycle so it will give or gives us the data for the condition we are applying if you are saying we need the data for motorcycle it will give us the data for motor motorcycle as well as it will give us the data for product vendor also so it's not specific that we need only motorcycle it is it if it is motorcycle that is fine if it is not motorcycle then it will check is it product vendor a uh, mean lean die cast then it will take that data also I am repeating first of all it will check is product line motorcycles if it will be a motorcycle the product line it will select all that consider all the data which will consider which will be have the motorcycle so or is considering the product line which is consist of motorcycles so we have the motorcycle take it up now for the remaining which is not motorcycle what or will do it will check is it I mean uh, I mean there is no any condition for the product line there is only one condition that is motorcycle so it will get filtered filter it out now for the remaining product line it will check the product vendor okay now if from that list which is not a motorcycle in the product line or will find the product vendor mean lean die cast and take that out so that will also be considered so it picks a one one condition first for example it is uh, I have written where product line is motorcycles or product vendor is mean lean die cast if it will pick up either product line or product vendor I mean doesn't matter if for example I am taking product vendor so it will pick up everything from product vendor which consists mean lean die cast after that the remaining product vendor which is not a mean lean die cast it will check is the is from the remaining vendors the product line is motorcycle if it is it will take that so that is the functionality of or right so hope you have get the understanding of or now next one is and 
now what and do I will just take this and paste and I will put and now what will happen it will check and do it is specific about the condition actually the condition we are applying both will be true at the same time if it is fail if any one condition is fail it will not take for example right now we have the or condition and see it is motorcycle it is mean die cast it will take it up for the end because both the condition is happening in the second one motorcycle but it is highway 66 mini classics product vendor it will not take because and consider both condition I mean whatever the condition we are taking both condition should be should be true at the same time I mean that should be exist right if but for the or that is not the case if anyone true it will take that but and is very specific it will check is product line motorcycle yes it is motorcycle okay hold on is product vendor is mean lean die cast yes it is mean line, mean lean die cast it will take it up next it will go to the next record and check is it the product line product cycles yes the product line is product cycles now it will check is product vendor mean lean die cast now it will found no it's not mean lean die cast okay reject it we don't need this then it will go to the next record is product line and ask hello hey product line product line will reply yes and operator and operator will reply product line are you a motorcycle in this record product line will reply yes I am motorcycle okay perfect but hold on let me check product vendor hi product vendor product vendor will reply hi and operator now product vendor will say how may I help you and operator and will say are you mean lean die cast for this current record product vendor re will reply no so sorry I am red start die cast and will reply okay but I need min lean die cast for this record okay I am not taking this record get out okay now it will go to the next so in this way okay so let me run this and show you the output see this there is only one record which is product where product line is motorcycle at the same time product vendor is min lean die cast so that is the end operator Hope you have got the understanding. See you soon in the next session. Thank you so much. Hello, welcome to the session. We were discussing about the operators, right? Operators. And we were discussing about operators and we were covering the logical operators right and uh, so logical operators we have done or we have done or is done okay then we have and we have covered this also the next one is in then we have number four like then we have between so these are the logical operators let's refresh this
the schema and we are we will we are working on db2 right which is we created use db2 so i will call the database the schema okay so it's done and we have the tables it's saying that we have the tables right okay now uh, from here let's take the payments select payment table star from payments and run this okay so we are getting the amount payment date check number customer number and we have to cover in so just focus then you will get the understanding of in is in is actually a similar kind of or here amount is equal to is uh, equal to where amount or what we can say uh, instead of payment let's take something else uh, take the employees right and run this start from employees I'm running this and nothing special so let's take okay we have VP sales sales okay let's take it as order by order by job title right I will run this okay now let's understand I mean you are already aware about or here job or remove the order by from here it will be run like this where job is equal to number one president right or job is equal to what sales representative right now what will happen when we will run this query we will get the data which is president or sale right run this wait a second while it's not running job title actually one second title job title right now I will run this there is something wrong with the sale I mean let's take the employees first we have president and we are looking for sales actually this is sales representative S C A L E S. now run now we are getting president and sales so or means we are saying that find the president right so we have find the president okay we will I mean where job title is equal to president so here is president it will be take this okay finish next row will come and it will ask is it president no it is not president then it will say wait are you sale representative it will say yes then it will take it so let's take the employees now when we will run this query 
first of all the query will ask okay are you president yes the job title the query will ask from job title are you president for this particular record the job title will reply yes I am president so the workbench or the query will execute this and I mean it will consider this president then second records it will ask are you president job title job title will say no I am VP sales okay so I mean if it's, it's not president and job title is saying that I am VP sales then it will compare okay we need president and sale representative it will discard this it will not take it then again it will go to the next record VP marketing and ask job title or check is the job title president or sales no it is not it will not execute so or what or do it checks if that is it president or sale representative no it is not it is sale manager reject sale manager reject sale manager reject sale representative take it so or take when there is a president and sales representative right if I will run this we will get the data for president and sales representative right and normally let's execute this and VP sales so I will take the VP sale also or VP sales or job title is equal to VP sales now what will happen we are great getting president sales representative and we are getting VP sales also now if we need list of I mean items inside the category or the field which is job title and if we will write uh, I mean for example we have 10 we have uh, 30 items inside the job title and I, out of 30 items we need 10 items and if you will write the query like this it will be a burden for you right so what we will do we will just run the query like this star from employees where job title we will not type equal we will type in now we will just take the president comma sales representative comma VP sales that's it see the difference if there are 10 items we will just write those items inside the bracket we will get the same result like this no such difference we are getting the same result now if we will type anything which is not exist for example I am type typing that my SQL so obviously my SQL is not inside it so it will reject that it's, it's it, it will not bother about that because in is kind of or so it will check president exist I mean it will go and check is it president yes it will take then it will check I mean it will look up that look out that is these items ex exist for this record first record then we can say that it will match any item match with the record yes president is matching VP sales is matching sales representative is matching now MySQL does not exist in the job title so there is no issue with that right if I, I will type here or job title is equal to MySQL it will not bother about that 
right because either it because it is not exist in the database in the table so no issue so hope you are getting the point for in so we have covered the in in is actually kind of or right now coming to the like so let's let's do for the like star from employees and we are going to cover here like I am running the star from employees and we have the uh, see the last name the first name Diney Mary Murphy, Dine, Mary. So let's order by last name. See, we are Bonder, Bonder, Bot, Bo, Castle. Now let's run the like operator star from employees where last name is equal to first of all I'm just using and clause bonder we will run this and see the result We are getting the data for Bondor, right? Now, for this, what we will do now, we will use a like operator. We have last name, like, what, percentage B, and run this are you getting something happening here now I will take like R and run this now hope you're getting the point if not then I'm going to explain you for this what like do like search the similarity right now we have the percentage sign right so if we are taking the percentage sign and alphabet any alphabet before the percentage sign means we are talking about the starting point and if you are taking after the percentage percentage any number or any R means we are take any alphabet if we are taking after the percentage or module we, we can call it a module or percentage sign so R means after and I mean R not R means if we are taking before the percentage it means we are talking about the starting and if we are taking after the percentage we are talking about end now the meaning of B percentage is that anything which starts from B we want that so I will run this now we are getting everything which is starting from B if I will write here in place of B I will write here C so we will get everything which will start from C which is Castillo now I will type A and check anything which starts from A no there is nothing which starts from A let's start from D anything which starts from D nothing nothing we have it starts from D here let's run this 
we have Murphy, we have uh, Pattison. So let's take P. Anything which starts from P, we will type here last name like P and present design. Now Peter Patterson is coming. Same way. Here, if we will run this, we will get everything which ends from R. And if I will write ER, then we will only get fixture. Because we are saying that find anything which ends with ER. Right? So we can add any kind of characters. I mean, it's up to you what you are looking for. Right? And for P, we can write anything, for example, PAT. So we will get anything which starts from PAT and which is Patterson. Let's type the which starts from the first name. So I will take the first name which starts from W and which is only William which starts from B anything let's check out yes Barry let's find anything which starts from J first name right Jeff Julie if I will type U J U so we will get only Julie Freely. right so hope you have got the point for the percentage also and like like operator so next is between so like is done next is between I, I am going to write this here where last name like uh, I mean where last name is equal to or I mean this is between actually the this is we are talking about kind of the range the amount so for that we need to take payment so I will take here payment payments run this select start from payments amount is this now uh, I will just copy this paste here and here if I will type amount is greater than 10 I mean greater than I, I have not explained to you about this this is actually comparison uh, I mean I mean this is a different operator and we will uh, cover it in the ne uh, next session it's kind of comparison where amount uh, is equal to equal is also a comparison operator where equal to 6066.78 right yes right now if we now uh, I will just take this and I will use the between so I will say where amount between where amount where amount between let's take 20 and 40 and don't think so we will get anything but see okay now what is the meaning of that actually between is kind of range in between the range it's, it's a range it's it means a range okay We are saying that between 20 and 40, is there anything which exists? No. Between 
twenty and four thousand. Is there anything exist? Now we will get the answer. So let's take. I mean twenty we are taking. So here we are getting. Let's order by amount. And by default, it is in ascending. Six one five is the lowest amount, right? I will type six one five point four five and run. Six one six. And I will run this. Six one six is not exist now. So we are getting the range between six one six and four thousand, and last one is three eight seven nine point nine six. So we are getting. If I will reduce the range to one thousand, this will reduce to reduce to one thousand. I mean, there is nothing else. Actually, the starting is from eleven hundred something. So let's take two hundred two thousand and run this. Now we will get the output. Eleven to eight is the starting point and ending point is what? Ending point is one nine six zero point eight zero. So which comes the uh, in the range between six one six and two thousand, right? So hope you have get the clarity. We are done with the session, right? And uh, we have done the logical operators or we have done and we have done in we have done okay we have done between and for okay i have told you that we have the percentage sign and in the starting this means the beginning and this means the ending right all right hope you have got the clarity see you in the next session thank you so much Hello, welcome to the session. All right, we in the previous session we covered the logical operator, and in this session we will cover comparison operators. Okay, so comparison means we will compare. So already you are aware about equal. So this is also equal is come under the comparison operator. This is. Equal. Then we have greater than. This is greater than. Then we have uh, number three less than. Then number four we have greater than equal to greater than equal to and number five we have. Less than equal to. Less than equal to. Number six, we have uh, not equal to. This is not equal to. All right. So let's do one by one. Select star from payments. Where amount is equal to what? One six seven six point one four. And run this. So this is the output we are we have got. That is fine. Right, equal is already covered because we used it many times. So, just it equal is comes under comparison because we are comparing. Greater than, select star from in payments where amount is greater than three thousand. Run this. So we are getting. Uh, let's order by descending so we will get the 
ascending so we will get the lowest first then highest so we will get to know that yes it is coming greater than 3000 order by amount so we will get the lowest number first so definitely this is greater than 3000 so we are done with this greater than same way if we will take less than 3000 order by okay so let's take it is less than 3000 and run this and what will happen we will take it descending order so we will get the highest number so the number will be less than 3000 see the highest number is 2880 and order by clause is what is it's doing it's arranging it into the descending order so, so highest is first then second highest I mean first highest then lower than that lower than that I mean decreasing order descending right so this uh, less than is done same way greater than equal I mean there is nothing which is equal to 3000 so we will get nothing for this greater than equal for this particular scenario okay my apology greater than equal to uh, means we are saying that uh, greater than but equal to also for example if I will take it 2880 then we will get 2880 because 2880 exists actually see 2880 exists actually but same way if I will take only the greater than then the starting will be 3101.40 instead of 2880 let me show you the starting is from 3101.40 instead of 2880 that is the meaning of greater than equal to same way for the less than equal to let's run this greater than equal to 2880 and if I will run less than 2880 then everything less than 2880 will come excluding 2880 but if and for that uh, if I will take two uh, there will be no 2880 here let's take it as the descending 2611 less than 2800 but we want 2880 itself then we will take equal to then now starting will be 2880 2880 is the starting hope we have covered all okay one uh, is we have covered equal greater than less than greater than equal to less than equal to not equal to not equal to means nothing I mean not equal to means not exist for example we don't want 2880 so we will get everything but we'll, we will not get 2880 that is the meaning of this C323 customer number now 2880323 will not we will not get 323 286 we are getting okay 323 three actually exist multiple times so that is getting but we we will not get that 2880 select star form uh, where this is not 2880 means it does not exist I mean we are negating that not it exists but we are saying we don't want that excluding that we don't want that thing that is the meaning of that so if I will take uh, here the starting is 103 now I will say customer number is not equal to customer number not equal to this is a not equal to sign 103 now we will get the starting from 112 when we will run this 112 because we have said we don't want 103 if I will say 112 we will get 103 114 but not 112 103 is getting but 112 is missing and 5112 is missing because we are saying that we don't want 112 alright so comparison operator is done hope you have got the clarity we have covered equal greater than less than greater than equal to less than equal to and not equal to hope you have got the clarity see you soon in the next session thank you so much hello welcome to the session 
all right today's session is allies allies means dummy name let's take select star from employees we have employee number last name first name extension email now what I will do I will just change the name select employee number and to give the lies we will write as and I'm going to give it as EMP ID comma last name as LN comma first name as FN same way email as email from employees we can skip the columns which we don't want to change so I want to change only employee number last name first name and email I don't want to change office code reports to job title and extension now we will run select employees employee last name as L from employees is this from employees okay select star employee number as imp id I mean okay this is not taking this email we will take it like this email as em okay or mail run this see imp id means we have replaced employee number with imp id last name with ln first name with fn and mail with mail and i am not taking any other name for example i am taking here we want the job title as it is so if we will include that then we will get that otherwise we will not get now we are including job title but we are not changing the job title if we want to change the job title also then we can change the job title also so job title as job and run this and see the execution we have the job hope you have got the clarity how to use allies see you soon in the next session thank you so much hello welcome to the session today's session is about is a union union means we will combine the two tables together top to bottom top to bottom table combined together right so let's take the select star from employees right where employee number is equal to one zero zero two okay and 1002 and run this and you have to understand when we are combining the table let me take the union select star form offices and run this we are not getting anything because the offices fields are different employees fields are different right 
so when you need to combine two tables both tables should have the same fields now to combine it what we will do we will write this we will write we will join single table with itself so we will get 10202 union now we are getting only one if i will take union all what will happen we are getting 1002 so union when we will take the union first one is union all which takes duplicates also and union means no duplicacy if i will take the union it it will negate the duplicates union no duplicacy right now if i will take the union we will get 1002 one time because it we, we are combining two tables top to bottom but it is duplicate then it will not take if i will take it as 1003 then it will take but it will be unique now 1003 is not exist take 1004 and see the output we have and we have no 1004 so let's let me see what is inside the table 1056 i will take 1056 and see the output we have here we have 1056 also hello welcome to the session joins what are joins joins are used to combine more than two or more than two tables when we combine two or more than two tables then we use joins for that okay now joins is mostly one type uh, four types one is first one is inner join second one is left join third one is right join and fourth one is outer join or we can say pull outer join now full outer join is not compatible with with mysql means full outer join does not exist inside mysql okay and we have cross join in mysql cross join is not a full auto join it is different from the pull auto join but for the full auto join we have another alternative we just use the combination we can use the left and right combination to get the complete records from both the tables so that that's the different way so cross join is a different kind of join and cross join is not a full auto join okay now i am just giving you the brief introduction about these what are they inner join means common common elements and common elements of what common elements of fields you need to understand that field plays very important roles in joins left join and fields are what they are headers okay left join left join means the from uh, if we have two tables table a and b then from table a all records and 
from table B only common records. Okay. The next one is right join. So this is just opposite of the left join. From table B all records and from table A from table A only common records. Obviously based on the field because we always use the field for the join the common field the next one is full auto join full auto join is not part of mysql but you need to understand it also full auto join means everything everything from table a and table b now the next one is which is cross join which is actually the part of mysql so cross join is called a cartesian kind of join cartesian join we can say it what it does it actually keep everything means uh, uh, keep everything means not like the full auto join because cartesian is kind of if we have uh, id and in the id i have one two three four five okay and in this which is the table a okay table b uh, i have id and which is one two three four five six so when we will take the card uh, the cross join for this okay what will happen what will be the output output will be like this it will take first of all from the table a it will just pick up one okay now for the one he will take one two three four five means all these records means one one okay combination just focus on the combination one one then we have one two then we have one three or what i will do i will give it a kind of d1 okay so you will get to correlate otherwise you will be confused okay which one two three uh, i am talking about and b5 and b6 and here i am taking b1 a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 so the result will be first of all it picked up a1 and with the a1 it will take all the b so a1 b2 like this b2 then again a1 b3 it will go up to the records in the table b okay so this is just a different kind of join b4 and a1 up to it will go up to b6 b5 then a1 b6 and is done now the next will be i mean uh, this this these records will become and now it will go to a2 okay now what will happen i am starting from here now what will happen it will take a2 because the next one is a2 in the table a this one okay so a2 now a2 will go with b1 then a2 will go with b2 then a2 will go with b3 a2 will go with b3 a2 will go with b4 then a2 will go with b5 then a2 will go with b6 and now after that it will go to a3 and same way for a4 a5 so it will go like this okay so this is called cross join 
full auto join means everything now the cross join i think you have get the clarity okay so i'm just keeping it uh, outside because this is hardly we use okay the main part is inner left right and full inner means the common element so if let's take the example for this one uh, okay this these have the table a okay let me take the example for you to make you understand in your join for example i have the table a and in the table a i have a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 okay and in the table b i have a3 a4 a5 a6 a7 a8 a9 a10 okay not a it's b okay i'm just taking it the same thing so you will able to correlate otherwise you can be confused so b6 b7 b8 b9 b10 okay so this is the id i mean the id in the table a id and this is also the id and it consists of a11 a12 a13 okay now if i will take the inner join between these two table based on field which is actually here id then what will be the output output will be for inner join will be what output will be the common elements between these ids so there is nothing common between these because this is b3 so what i will do i will replace it with the same kind of thing and there is okay because the uh, why we can't take it as b because the, the the common elements okay it should be common a3 a3 because if i will take b then everything will be different and the we in the result we will get empty we will get nothing whatever the join we will do because there is nothing common so nothing will come okay now you have to check out what is the common between these two tables now we can see that a1 is not exist here a2 in the b table what is the common element so i will just write here check it out a1 no a2 a3 is common so i will write it here a3 then we have a4 then we have a5 that's it this is the output for inner join okay this is the output for inner join so these records will come because these are the common elements between these two tables for the field id coming to the next which is left join for the same thing so left from a uh, all from a all from a and common between a and b or column uh, or common from b i we can say or and common from b or uh, we can say common between a and b so what will the output so the output for this will be output for this will be output for this will be id is equal to we have check this check out uh, that means everything from table a so i will just copy this paste here and now the common so we know that a3 a4 a5 is the common so a3 exists here a4 exists here a5 exists here and this will be actually the output for left join okay now for right join 
what will be the output for the right join the output will be everything from what everything from b all from b all from b and common between a and b right so i will just copy this and paste here and i will check out is there anything common so we know that the inner join is a3 a4 a5 and i will check is it exist here a3 a4 a5 is exist and a5 a6 a7 a8 a9 a10 will come because this is the right join so this is the output now coming to the full auto join coming to the full auto join which is actually not the part of uh, as my sql but there is a way uh, we we can use uh, left join and right join combination or maybe in the upcoming session i will explain you how we can achieve the full auto join but for now just try to understand full auto join so full auto join means everything means we will get all so that means output will be what output will be this as well as this so this is the output so how it will you now you need to understand that okay this is the output and uh, i explained you that this is the cartesian the cross join output if the here it is a1 there is no issue i just uh, bifurcated it as b uh, so that you will get understand but if it is like this then the combination will become here like this it will become a it will become a, 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 a everything will be a instead of b a will come but everything so this is actually the output one uh, in this way the output will come for 2 3 4 5 up to 5 okay every combination every possible combination okay so this is totally different kind of join full auto join is like this everything every every elements from both the tables will come now you need to understand that the output will come i mean this is i am just showing you but when they will join they will come like if a1 is coming okay okay uh, let me show you for okay inner join uh, because it will come like a3 a3 actual output will come like this okay a3 a3 a4 a4 a5 a5 actual output will come like this okay and in the coming session you will get understand automatically what does this mean okay now here the output will come like the real output okay real output above is also the real output but that is uh, so real output is what it will be like a1 a a1 uh, no a not a1 it will come as null okay then uh, for 3 4 a2 null okay then we will a3 a3 okay then we will a4 a4 okay i will explain you what i am doing a5 null oh, no a5 is also a5 and for the remaining up to uh, which is a11 12 13 okay this one will come null okay this will come like a null 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 and this will also not so what is this null null is actually the second table because a1 does not exist inside the table b so this will give us null right a3 a3 is giving because have these records exist so this is the common so that's why a3 a4 a4 a5 a5 combination and here is also the real real output is like this because we are joining the two tables so the output will be like this a3 a3 a4 a4 a5 a5 and the null is actually null because 
the second table does not contain a1 so it will give us null so this the output will be a real output will come like this same way for the right join the real output will be the real, uh, real output will be uh, like uh, a3 a4 will come definitely so i will just copy paste it a3 a4 a5 will come because common and you need to understand that common the inner join is part of every join uh, like expect the cross join cross just cross join forget for now cross join i have i mean i have explained to you because cross join is totally different okay and it is very rarely used okay the inner join is always be part of left join because the common element will be contained in the left join also and it will be contained in the right join also a3 a3 a4 a4 a5 a5 9 now what what is rest that is rest is this so a6 so here this is the right join so it will come null a6 then null because first table will be null okay because a a a6 a7 a8 a9 a10 does not exist inside the table a so this will be the output right and for this for this every uh, this pin is like uh, okay for, for the full auto join definitely the uh, have the inner join is part of every join so we will this output will come a3 a3 a4 a4 a5 a5 and the next will be what next will, will be like this a1 null then a2 null then a3 null no not a3 a3 is done a4 is done a5 is done a6 okay null a6 null a6 then we have null a7 null a8 then we have null a9 then we have null a10 then we will have the a11 null then we have a12 null then we will have a13 null so this will be the final output for full auto join right and remember full auto join is not part of mysql but you need to understand because this is the part of another dbms like oracle or sql server okay and we achieve the full auto join in mysql by using left join and right join combination together and i will show you in the upcoming session so hope you have get uh, the proper understanding of these joins in the upcoming session i will explain you uh, by using diagram also but hope you have get the clarity for now see you soon in the next session thank you so much hello welcome to the session inner join left join right join full auto join so this is the graphical repre representation you can see let's start from the inner join you can see we have two circles okay in the inner join we have two circles left join right join full auto join and we have mentioned a b so let's start from the inner join what is a and what is b a is a table a let's consider this circle as a table a and the second circle as a table b so what it is representing you can see there is a lighter version the lighter color and there is a darker color so lighter means it is not the part of the join the darker mean it is the part of join means it is the actual the output now inner join in the inner join i explained that inner join means the common element between the tables definitely the field will be used okay so the inner join this part you can see this part is actually the output which is the common between these two tables 
so this is called inner join this is the table a and table b we are combining these two tables and this part is representing the common elements between these two tables basis on the field okay so this is called inner join coming to the left join you can see that this lighter part this is actually not the result the result is the darker you can see that a b okay so left join is what left join means everything from table a and common between a and b or we can say the common from b okay it is the same meaning so this is actually the part of a also and b also and every element from a same way right join is just uh, opposite of the left join the b every common uh, the every element everything from b plus common element from a is called right join and full auto join means everything so everything from a plus everything from b so this is full auto join and full auto join is not the part of mysql but there is a way to get the same output like full auto join which i explained in the upcoming session so hope you have got the understanding for the inner join left join right join and full auto join see you soon in the next session thank you so much hello welcome to the session today we will do inner join so let's uh, we have the db2 uh, we i already shared you this script so hope you have downloaded it and you have i already explained you in the previous session how to create this database db2 to db2 so we will uh, use db2 for now uh for the inner join okay or for maybe for all the joins we will use db2 database 2 so i will use db2 i will apply i will just run this and you can see that this green checkbox is coming zero rows affected so i mean the green box means okay this is okay so we are inside what we are inside the schema which is db2 which is the database right and inside this we have table right and i will use show tables to get the details what kind of tables we have available inside db2 one second show tables yes we have customers we have employees offices orders payments product lines products 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 tables we have available with us so now we have to use the inner join uh, and for that we should have understanding that which field we are going to use for the join because to join two or more tables we need what we need we need the field right and what is the field so i will use uh, i know uh, we know that we have the tables we have uh, customers customers we have employees we have orders we have payments we have product lines and we have products so these are the tables available with us now our uh, right now the focus is on the field explained to you that i already explained that field is actually the column right the header so i will use describe 
customers so we will get to know what kind of fields we have available you can see that field is coming we have customer number we have customer name contact last name contact first name phone address line one address line two city and we have state postal code country sales representative re employee number credit limit so these are the fields available with us the type we have the null the key fine focus our focus is on field now so these are the field available and we have to decide which field we will going to use for the join now in the customer we have customer number customer name now we are get to know okay we have the customer number and the employees uh, let's see what is inside employees describe employees so i will run this now we have you can see that result is coming in 26 the result coming in uh, 25 25 we have customers 26 we have employees so now we have the employee number and we can see that there is something which is uh, mul annual this is kind of a foreign key office code and reports too right and this reports too is what uh, let me go to here and we can see that this is the customer number right now to join uh, two or more tables we should have to decide which field we are going to pick up so the field is actually it should be common right common means if i am taking taking id i am taking id from table a and taking then i need to take then let me take uh, then i need to take take id from table B also but you need to understand this ID doesn't mean that if it is ID for this table a the name will be the same there it can be some other name it can be like it, it can be any uh, name right it, it can be like uh, account number or okay uh, like uh, number one I mean it, it can be anything so do not confuse that we need to take the id from both the column uh, both the tables no y yes we need to take the id but the name can be different because maybe this table a the id which we are talking about is customer id okay and here we are also talking about the customer id but the name is different for that field there is a possibility because here in above example in the customers and employees if I will go here the customer number is actually here you can see that this is the primary key the customer number which is inside the customer table that is fine now this customer is also exist inside the employees but the name is different this is reports to right so this reports to is what this reports to is actually the customer number let me show you if i will write a query select remember this is what data query language as uh, select right we we are going to use 80 percent already explained in the and start that we our focus is mostly on the as, as uh, in the dql language data query language select so select star means everything from customers i'm going to use this select star from customer 
and I will run this. Customer number is coming one zero three one one four one one uh, one one nine, and if I will use select star from employees and I will run both. Now, in the employees table, we have what? We have employee number, but we have the uh, reports too. So, this reports too is what actually? One, one, uh, I think, yes, 1102 one, we have, uh, and here we have no, reports too. No, reports 2 is not, reports 2 is different. So, let me check this out here. Uh, we can go here. In the employees, we can check the foreign keys. Employees, foreign key. Second. Select star form. I'm going to use this word. One second. Something uh, yes, foreign key here. City uh, office code, okay. Okay, this one. You can see uh, employees report to so employee number. So employees, we have this and it it is employee number yes we we are yes this is actually yes we, it is it's fine we are it's saying that the employee number reports to is actually the employee number so this is the employee number one uh, let me check this out one zero zero two uh, employee number What about this? Yes, yes, one zero. Yes, yes. We are, we are correct. Employee number, employee number, one one zero zero two, and in the customers we have also uh, not the customer number. Uh, this is here sales rep employee number. Yes. yes okay so uh, see okay so uh, let me explain you again we were here we uh, to start for any query we have to decide which field we will we will going to use okay and for that we have to know that Yes, this is the common field between these two tables. Now, for the customer table and the employees table, we have to we have to get to know okay which tables uh, for which we are going to apply the operation uh, or which field, right? So for that, uh, first of all, what we will do, we will just run the query and we will check okay uh, that which uh, has the common columns or the common fields between the tables now uh, by uh, running this query we are not able to get to know properly that which uh, belongs to whom i mean is this reports to belongs to employee number i mean uh, yes it seems to be like that so or, or is it employee to customer number okay so we 
this is we are just running okay we are get to know okay these fields are available okay or we can I have already explained that we can also use the describe customer and employees to get to know which fields we have available for which table okay till yet we have not decided uh, on what basis we are going to apply this but let me uh, use the customers and let decide we will do it based on the customer number so that means the customer number should be inside employees also and we have to find that customer number field inside the employees so for that instead of uh, going here we can use the query and we will write show create tables employees because we want the information about employees so we are going to use db2 and i will run this emp lo show create C R E A T E T A B L E S employees show create table employees here is oh table okay so now we are getting the list okay the table is employees and when we will hover the cursor here we are seeing that create uh, this is the table with us we have uh, employees and we are get to know okay employee number inside the uh, employees that is fine but we are looking for customer number is there anything which is customer number for this create table and see when we are hovering the mouse uh, the cursor we are getting the details and in the end you can see that we are uh, the constant which is employees ibfk1 which is reports to referencing to the employees employee number what it means it means that for the employees for this particular table right the reports to is actually the employee number means it is referencing to itself okay so we don't have the customer number same way the another one we have the constant uh, which is the office code uh, which is for the office table and is there any here the so that means there is nothing like customer number for this so we can't use on the customer number right but we can use on the reports too which is the employee number that means when i will go here i will run the select for the customers okay here we have to find what we have to find one second where is that let me run this again okay and here it is saying that one second okay it is saying that we have the reports to means reports to is actually the uh, foreign key and it is referencing to the employee number from the employee table okay it is actually the itself reports to actually the itself and there is nothing like there is nothing like common between the customer and employees then yes there is nothing common 
but there is a common uh, let me see that for the customer is there any table another table which has uh, could have the possibility that they have the common elements common fields uh, let me okay we have customers and for the employees uh, we have office codes that is fine let's see for the okay let's let's do for the employees then I will remove for the employees okay from the employees uh, we are get to know that this one we have actually the office codes which is actually uh, the office let me write select star from offices which is office code right okay so here the office code actually belongs to what it is belongs to re, uh, the let me use this again here we have okay let me adjust it okay this you can you can see that this one the constant employees foreign key office code references office means for the employee table this office uh, the office code is actually referencing the offices means this office code is actually uh, which is referencing to the offices this uh, the office this uh, the the office code is exist inside the office also that's why we are uh, this is the foreign key so foreign key is what foreign key is actually the primary key of some other another table and that table is offices you need to understand this okay i'm saying the foreign key is what foreign key is actually the primary key of another table it is not it doesn't mean that every time you can see uh, it can be primary key for the same table for example here this one this one employees ibfk1 is actually the foreign key of the same table okay it is not the case that the foreign key will always be the another table maybe it is of the same table here the employees table the employee number okay I inside the employees uh, let me go a little bit up okay the employee number is inside the employees and the reports to is actually the foreign key that means the employee number and reports are the same okay here the offices this is the office table the office code inside the offices table is actually the office code of the same table which is the employees means the office code inside here here in the which is this this one this office code is actually belonging to the office code from the office table you need to understand this okay this is may be confused you in the start but you need to understand this that's why i am fo focusing on this maybe you are f uh, feeling that uh, you are getting confused you are not getting confused okay this is very important okay even uh, i could start from just uh, showing you the join okay we will just use the table a join with like this okay select so star from table a inner join okay 
I, I can write, write the syntax that's not the case okay you need to understand before writing the syntax you need to understand what are our requirements for that particular join okay the field is very important part okay it is not mandatory to you know you we should have always the foreign key between the two tables if we don't have the foreign key cable uh, foreign key kind of thing between the two or more tables that does not make any impact i mean not i mean we can go that way also without foreign key we can go even we don't need to go to check for the foreign key if we have the common column uh, com we get to know okay this is the common fields we can apply okay but i am just going deeper okay because if we have the relationship okay if, uh, the foreign key or relationship okay that we i mean that is actually our starting point okay that means this foreign key actually representing the com uh, common fields okay even by watching the query you are not able to know that which column is common but by knowing the foreign key we are get to know okay this is 100% common but if we d we don't have the foreign key at the time of designing okay uh, we don't have the foreign key even after that we can uh, you know we get to know okay this is actually the common element between these two tables but they don't have the foreign key that that's fine but i'm just uh, explaining the concept the starting point what will be the starting point so that is the foreign key here office is table and of office code is the field inside the office is table and this office code is inside the same table means office code we get to know that office code is the common field office code is the common field between what employees and offices table and one more thing both have same name because sometimes what happens maybe in the offices uh, the field name is office code but in the uh, this table the name is not office code it is something else it can be code it can be office id it can be anything or it can be same for now it is same okay so the first step you have to know is field the common field okay the common field is always the first step common field common field between two tables is the first step for joins now we are uh, get to know that office code is actually our field office code step 1 done okay now how to write the inner join to join these two tables that is i'm going to explain you now let me copy this here and go down and i will paste here now we are get to know that office code is the common between these two tables now the syntax is if you want to join the two tables the syntax is that select start from table a right inner join on inner join uh, table b on table a dot the common id common id is equal to table b dot common id or i will say common field not id the main focus for 
the query inside uh, for the join is common field there is a possibility the common field have a primary and foreign key relationship and there is a possibility they don't have any relationship but they still have common they are common so no issue you can go either they have the relationship primary key or for foreign key relationship either they don't have now this is the syntax and whatever with the join if it is left join you will just replace it you will just type your left join if it is right join you will replace your right join if it is cross join you will for the cross join uh, it is syntax is different i will come to that not different but it is little bit smaller okay so hope you have get the clarity about how we are going to apply the join we need get to know that which is the common field now let run the query select star from employees which is our table a right inner join we, we, we want what we join we want inner join and the table b is here what the table b here is offices on employees dot what is the common field the common field is office code this one office code office code is equal to offices dot office code we are done i will run this and we will have the output now let's check that we have the offices this is the employee table and i will go right and i will try to find office code this office code is what this office code is for table a which is employees and now the office code will come again let me show you i will go right uh, yeah sorry this one this one is office code this is the first one and this is the second one okay this office means this is uh, the ending the table a ends here and this is the join table now you can see that office code so means this these are the common elements these are the common items of the office code which is one two three four five six seven right so this is called inner join we have applied the inner join successfully right if i will just uh, let me show you if i will just run the employees uh, right we have the output we have one six so let me arrange it one two three four Five six seven, okay. One two three four five six seven, okay. And in the offices, what we have? In the offices, we have one two three four. Okay, we have a, <laughs> we have common. Okay, we have everything. So what we need to do to un understand it? What I will do? uh that means uh, because if because yes so for this uh, because it will always be inner join kind of if i will apply left join it will always be inner join because uh, not the inner join i mean because they have the common elements so you will not get to know that a left join or the right join is how it is getting applied because they have the seven and we know that the common element is always the part of every join it is the part of inner join because inner join is actually the common element and as well as it is the part of uh, left right and as well as cross join so the result will be the same if i will uh, let me show you if i will uh, use uh, i am just running this okay uh, 
uh, let me go a little bit down now we don't need okay uh, i'm just arranging it okay i'm just uh, running employees okay okay so we have got the records and it is saying okay 23 rows are affected that is okay and if i will uh, run the office code it will say seven seven rows are returned because we have the seven records inside it now if i will run the, just watch carefully you need to understand okay now we have 23 rows returned means what what it mean it means that the 23 elements uh, uh, the items inside the uh, employees is actually exist inside the uh, table uh, inside the table office code that that is the meaning okay 23 records we are getting means every record exists inside office code or office table that is the meaning of this okay but this is not always be the case that if we are getting the same record maybe uh, we are getting that 23 records because uh, that records exist many times uh, the duplication uh, there is a possibility that uh, we are getting 23 records even we are get if we have 100 records okay and in say because uh, it means the office uh, office code is actually the subset of table a okay i am not go into that but see it, we can't uh, you know say that 23 records means everything exists maybe 23 records exist many times maybe for one record that is only one record but six does not exist so we i am just telling you that do not confuse with this number do not decide okay 23 records is coming means everything is coming everything is coming that is fine but maybe that everything is actually that 23 records can be uh, if 23 records has only one office code so definitely it will give us 23 records because that is the common element and it will give us the common element because for that 23 records the one is the common now the point is i am going to make uh, for now because uh, we have checked it uh, uh, manually here and we are get to know okay this this is uh, has the one two three four five six seven it is clear okay but if the uh, data is millions of records okay we can't check that manually okay for that we need the join okay we need the common elements okay inner join now if i will apply the left join it will also give us the same result 23 records and why because here and if i will use the right join it will also give us the same result because they have the common element the same there is nothing which does not exist in that table or in that table everything is exist okay 23 records here if i will apply the cross join now cross join is that we just we don't need this one on we don't need this one we need just this one cross join that's it select start from employees cross join and we are done i will okay so still we are uh, we are getting 161 records now cross join is actually including every record everything it will include for the first record uh, it is actually uh, let me tell you uh, it is actually going like this 
uh, if we have 23 records it will check for all okay everything nothing will be uh, uh, for every record it will give the us the output and it is hardly used okay uh, okay so means uh, it is actually for every record inside uh, the employees table it is actually checking every record for that like uh, uh, for if we have one so one for one 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 two one three one four one five one six one seven like that then two one two three every every it is just catching it will catch it up like let me arrange it let me show you here if i will check this out uh, office code now the number 7 7 number 7 is 6 so number 7 uh, let me show you for 1 1 7 1 6 and let me arrange it in the order by so make you understand it order by I want it to be first of all office code of what I want the employees office code employees dot office code and second one I want it to be and uh, second one as the offices so it will arrange office is it office yes offices dot office code I will run this now okay uh, unknown offices oh, okay o double f i c e s okay run this now you will understand one 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 just watch carefully what is happening now one two one two one. i mean that means one exists how many times one exists many times here and every one for every one it will take the every office code one one if it is exist five times uh, then it will come five and uh, right now one two three four five and next one is six uh, many is coming like here up to here so it will go again one two one two one two one two like that because the office code exists many times here right or so it it will uh, cross join is actually every every record will it will check for it will join for every record actually so that is the cross join okay so uh, now uh, because they have uh, the same tables uh, what i will do okay uh, for the inner join to make you understand more uh, what i will do now i we, we need to apply the delete okay so let me why because uh, if i will delete the record then there is uh, that in the first table we have the record which does not exist and that is in the another table which is exist then you will get to know the difference otherwise you will not uh, get to know the difference between the left and right because both uh, all are giving us the same result so i will uh, use db2 okay and let me uh, delete from employees here If here office code is office code is equal to uh, let me record the uh, read the record number seven which is number seven for this office code you are using safe update uh, you are using the safe update mode and you are trying to update it without a here that use a key column cannot use range says toggle the option in preferences as for editor and reconnect okay so this is actually kind of admin part so 
so I will go to the edit and preferences and I will remove the safe mode here SQL editor and safe updates I will remove this and now if we are in the safe mode uh, we can't update and delete okay this is actually the admin part okay this is not the part of the course okay right now I have to restart it all right so I will restart it I will shut down it and I will restart it again right Okay, we are connected now. So let me start from let's start the query or run the query first. Okay, it is running now. What I will do? I will delete this record. Still, uh, okay. What I will do? I will close it completely. And I am starting it again. Right, the local instance, and we are inside this. I will run this the query, the employees. Okay, database I am choosing first, and I am running the employees table, and now I am going to delete the office code from employees okay we have the foreign key actually okay that that is the problem with this actually what I will do now uh, because uh, it's uh, the topic will diverge completely uh, let's see if there is any another table or what I will do a table which have city and Okay, what I will do, I will, uh, let's, let's do one thing, let's create the table, let's go by this, create table, uh, let me give it a name as uh, table, uh, 
or what what is the name we can give okay table a okay table a id integer i am not going to uh, okay let this it should be okay let make it primary key or i i don't want to make anything uh, primary key, uh, the id and name as uh, let's uh, give name as the where care 20 city or country where care 20 okay so i'm just uh, going to create database joins okay and create table and execute it okay this is done now refresh it we will have the join database here okay insert into table a id name country right values uh, one let uh, give it name john country usa run this okay this is done again I'm just running this because I have not uh, decided in primary key I'm just creating the records and let's give a name as Michael Australia Uh, number of two let it's number two and I will put one more record like number three let's give it a name as Mike New Zealand and I will add five records only so give it a name as Canada and number five as Rocky okay so let's run select star from table A right now we have the data now same thing i will instead of table a let's okay now let's alter it okay alter let's give it a correct name alter table table a uh, uh, we, uh, we want to alter the table not the table uh, inside the table column so we will rename okay rename is the keyword to use rename table what is the table name table a right and uh, i want it to be like uh, the 
so what what kind of name uh, we can let's give it a name as uh, the table employee or something else like uh, country or table let's give it a name as employee okay okay this is done now i will use select star from employee i will run this and we will have the result okay second table we are we will create same thing okay and give it the name as the zone kind of okay any and okay or we can say that employee 2 employee 2 okay okay it's done inserting it the same record now i will add here one more records which is number six and number seven so you will get the understanding this I am doing this whole thing for left join and right join understanding completely and even you are getting to understand how these tables are created and how we can use alter and table so everything is going both way okay so uh, I will give it a name as Nancy Nancy and this one let's take a name as Nicholas and I will just add this record okay what is saying okay uh, second table Uh, insert into what I'm doing employees 2 okay okay what I will do because table A is uh, I will create table A and then I will change the name okay because that's the way we can go uh, use joins and create this one and then uh, later we change the name okay use joins use joins create table in okay table a table a okay and insert the data okay now what i will do let me add uh, same thing 8, 9, 10 also. So we will add 8, 9, 8, 9 is enough. And alter the table, uh, rename table A as employees2. Okay. Use joins uh, joins rename table A to employees. Okay. 
okay and select star form select star form employees to I have done like the mistake okay employee EA what I will do I will rename employee EA to one okay with the previous table thank god we did the mistake in the previous table i think employee ea what is happening here what we have done confusing confusing let's let's check this out select star from employees employee ea is there something inside this there is nothing so I will delete employee delete employee or drop delete drop employee drop table we yeah, don't need this emplo5 eea use joins this okay now we have employees so let's see what we have select star from employees star from employees okay this one two three four okay up to nine now what I will do I will create one more table okay which is table a the same thing but I will delete some record Let, let's plus delete number eight and okay, let's keep up to six okay and give it a name as kind of Joins creatable a and I will delete, I will remove this okay now I will run this we are keeping up to six records only okay up to five okay okay now I will just alter uh, the rename rename table table a to employees two select star from employees to select star from employees and the second one we have two okay so we have both the table ready and in the next session i think this is enough for today in the next session i will show you the inner join the left join and the right join and the cross join see you soon in the next session thank you so much uh, i just going to give you update i'm just sharing the script okay for joins and uh, tables will be employees one and employees two database will be uh, joins okay so I, I I'm going to share this uh, you can download that and you can apply it and even uh, in the next session i will show you that script how because i don't want you to you know go with this step okay so i am just going to share the script and maybe yes so maybe i will create uh num table number three also so we will do four more than two tables also the join okay so soon in the next session i will share you the script uh, you can download that script and you can i will show you how you can use that script how you can apply that script see you in the next session thank you so much hello welcome to the session all right so today we will create the tables for the joins so we have four tables number one we have 
table employee name number 2 we have table country number 3 we have table department and number 4 we have table region okay so these are the four tables and uh, i have attached the script uh, you can download that script and you can create the tables okay so first of all uh, you have to download the script and you have to follow the steps which i am going to show you right now create database we will first of all create the database okay database is created uh, okay it is already exist for me for you it's not exist so you you don't need to do this step which i am doing right now database joins because previously we done this so that's why let's drop this now refresh this and now we can see that this joins table is gone now okay and one more thing let make it private this one only okay so script is attached you have to just follow the steps which i am going to show you right now create database joins okay affected refresh it and check that is it created or not database joins uh, yes it is done so we have the joins database next use joins okay we are inside this database okay now create the table table employee names emp names okay we are creating the names which employees we have okay so what is this this is id this is uh, employee id okay and uh, let me uh, in the down we have id okay so let me give it name as employee id emp and this is also emp okay so we have the employee id we have the employee name okay so this is we have created the primary key we are creating the primary key for employee id so no record will be repeated for this and uh, employee name okay we have done so just create table run this and it is done now select start from table emp name and run this and this will show us select star from table emp names okay now check this out you need to follow these steps okay okay so we have uh, the table created and we have to employee id employee name okay this is the table employee names emp names so this table is ready now we have to insert the records into it so we can uh, insert the record uh, multi records in one go okay i have shown both way okay this is the starting way okay and this is uh, the uh, we are just in one go we can insert many records so this is the syntax okay values one john comma two emily three jams like this okay so i have shown both it's up to you but for now you just have to follow the script and you have to uh, run the script because i want you to you know create this table so that when we i will show you the joins or whatever with operation our my table and your table should be same okay i and now i will just insert the records we have 30 employees okay so these are unique and okay this is done zero duplicates 30 records is done we can't insert duplicate because it is primary key so okay now i will check that it is inserted i mean i just I, this is the random checks okay i will do okay this is done or not 
so okay so we have all the records we have 30 records okay john emily james sophia daniel up to lily 30 records okay so we have done what we have done we uh, the table in name is created okay 30 records okay this step is done next is we have to create the table country so in the country we have the id which is actually the employee id and i told you that the field name can be same or different so this is id and country okay that's why it's it's is for this id we have the country this against this id the country is this so i'm just creating the table okay it is done and i am just going to insert the data and this one okay countries already exist okay 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 actually i created it already so i will just go for insert now so insert into and you need to follow the step properly column name means okay name is not exist okay but here is the issue okay name this is my mistake but see you will get uh, the corrected script okay so don't worry you just have to follow the steps you th the script you will get that will be perfect okay so i am running this okay so it is done now i will check that this is created or not so select start from tbl country so let's check the records are created or not created or not yes the 15 uh, how many records we have 10 records okay 1 2 3 4 5 11 12 13 14 15 okay it's done so we have done successfully what we have created table country successfully now okay now next is we have to create the table department in the department we have id and the department so okay this is done now insert the records okay records are inserted and i will check that out select start from table department okay so we have the record six records inside this okay now we have created table department successfully okay this part is done now create the table reason reason we have the id and the reason and this is done and i will insert the records and this is also done select star for table reason check this out okay we have joins table reason does not exist there is something oh t table is table tbl okay okay this is done so we have this table created now we have created all the tables and from the next session we will okay let's we have created table reason successfully and in next session we will discuss i mean we will create joins okay finally see you soon in the next session and download the script follow the step with me by watching this and check that out everything is perfect okay see you soon in the next session thank you so much